judge he's haunted by the bad decisions he made. He said he apologized for what happened at every stage, but later said that FTX and Alameda Research, his companies, were never bankrupt, that it could have just ended up being an unpleasant few weeks. While the judge noted mitigating evidence of Bankman Freed's philanthropy, he said his political ambitions and interviews after his arrest revealed an act being put on. He posited that while Bankman Freed's name has been tarnished, he could commit similar crimes again. Fox's Jessica Rosenthal, the judge also ordering Bankman Freed to pay a $11 billion in forfeiture. America is listening to Fox News. Federal authorities are now pressuring banks to spy on the transactions of conservatives. Hi, I'm Dr. Ron Paul, and this is yet another reason why you need a physical gold IRA from Birch Gold Group. To find out more, text the word PROTECT to 989898 to get your free info kit on gold IRAs. Secure your IRA or 401k right now. Text PROTECT to 989898 to request your free info kit. Message and data rates may apply. Paid for by Birch Gold Group. Progressive presents 10 things on a plumber's to-do list that are harder than getting a small business insurance quote. Waking up for 5 a.m. plumbing disasters, finding out why water is pouring from the ceiling while telling a customer to leave the room, replacing a pipe in a home from the 1800s, then dealing with invoices or your awkward apprentice or that really weird smell, and then there's breathing and eating and, of course, clogs. But the easiest thing on any small business owner's to-do list? Seeing if you could save on the business insurance that's right for you. Get a quote in as little as six minutes at ProgressiveCommercial.com. Progressive Casualty Insurance Company coverage provided and serviced by affiliated and third-party insurers. Ruff, ruff. Look out. It's only me. It's only the Kimmer. With the mysterious Pete Davis, sidekick, producer, and sports raconteur extraordinaire, and mechanical mangler at the controls, Flounder. And it's Thursday. And how are we doing in there, boys? Everything all right there? It's, uh, you know, oh, lovely. Uh, <laughs> there he is now. We have a little mechanical thing going, so we will uh, endure to uh, persevere. And uh, just, uh, you know, life is uh, life is wonderful in every way. 303, here's our freaking phone number, 404 741 741-1230. And uh, we have tickets to give away later on today. In fact, uh, what the hell, we'll do it this hour. The hell, we'll do it right now. I don't know, we'll just, we'll do it now because uh, why not? We're in a kind of a giving mood, a happy giving mood today, right now. Uh, here's our phone number, 404-741-1230. Flounder, we have tickets to opening night, which is Friday, May 7th. Broadway in Atlanta presents To Kill a Mocking Bird. And it's Harper Lee's iconic novel coming to life at the fabulous Fox Theater stage. It'll be here for eight shows, May 7 to 12. And tickets are available at uh, broadwayinatlanta.com. But we got a pair to give away right now, 404-741-1230. And Flounder will probably make you do a skit or something, tell a joke. I'm some kind of contest, I'm guessing. Uh, and uh, we'll give those away. And again, it's, it's the opening night, May 7th. It's a Friday night uh, at the fabulous Fox. <clears throat> Also, uh, just some, uh, and again, well, we have newsy stuff, but you just heard the news, so, you know, uh, it may take a couple of minutes to be able to get back in the good thing here with the thing there. Uh, don't forget, tomorrow, we, uh, they should, they want to do this, right? Is this, this, they weren't joking around, right? Is this, this set and set everything to go, okay? Uh, so I hope they know what they're in for. Yes, it's Nucky. Oh, that's my phone ringing now. Well, now, hold, let's see who that is. <laughs> Hold on. Now, I get all these freaking phone. You know, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna click it off, and uh, you know, if I don't Hello. recognize the number or doesn't say the name, I don't answer it. As simple as that. And, and by the way, what is that? I, I, I mean, one thing about that. When is the? Uh, do you remember? Do you remember when your phone rang and you had no idea who it was, and so you obviously always answered. And then all I remember back, and well, I remember when we never had one, but our neighbors had a party line where you pick up the phone to make a call and someone might be talking on it because you had to share it with your neighbors. And then you had to wait till they were done and, oh, sorry, Marge, you know, stuff like that. Uh, and then it went to your own private line. And then it went to answering machines. Again, answering machines have not been around forever. So, you know, if somebody called you and you didn't answer, you didn't know they called you ever. Uh, until answering machines. And now we got this whole thing. It's a whole different world. I mean, you know, and now I can see who it is, where they're calling from, if I want to answer or not. And it's, uh, you know, I don't care. Anyway, what I was saying was tomorrow is kind of a special day here in many, many ways. In fact, I'm actually in a, kind of, I'm having a, a, a kind of a mental thing going on here because tomorrow is not only our appearance at uh, uh, Nucky's Hoagies, which is a, a sub shop, a hoagie shop on Woodstock Road in Roswell. We'll be there doing our show tomorrow live, 3 to 6. And so uh, all day tomorrow to celebrate, 
Nuckies is offering the extra special, the 106.3 special. If you buy any hoagie, you get a second cold hoagie absolutely free. Okay? So you buy a hoagie, you get a second cold hoagie absolutely free tomorrow. That's tomorrow, not today. That's on Friday, which is also Good Friday. And it's also uh, kind of well. I'll talk about it later on. Some, but it's kind of a. It's like a. Uh, it's like a sort of a milestone in the life of your uh, humble host, and uh, in many ways, uh, the most of which I will not go into. But also, uh, speaking of that, and I believe I'm going to bring some trinkets to give away to folks who may show up. Oh, by the way, I heard I, I missed part of the morning show. I was too. I had a doctor sing my ear rockets. Um, I, I freaking technology. Anyway, I'll talk about that a little bit later too. Uh, now, I, I think the morning show. I think they were. Uh, I th- I, there must be some kind of stunt planned. I don't know, Flounder. We. I don't know if you heard part of their stuff. Uh, or Peter. I did not. Okay, but I think there. I, I got a feeling because Morning Joe was in here when I got when I got in today. They were doing a podcast, and Morning Joe was running the board for the podcast. And now, as he was leaving, I talked to him. And uh, actually, two things. I, I was bringing in uh, while well, you were out doing something else, and he was in here on the board. And so I was bringing in your uh, cookie pack. Every day I bring flounder cookies. And so I bring them four cookies, two of one and two of the other. And I brought in this cookie pack, and I felt bad to Morning Joe. They're more a morning board. Oh, they Pete Davis. We see a picture of Pete Davis in a purple uh, uh, mountain background. Oh, my God. Uh, he's you know, moved now. He's now the mountains of... Oh, my God. He's in Alaska, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. It's an incredible backdrop of Alaska. And Oh, well, that just I feel so I much always fun. knew the camera hated me, but it never it just refused to show me. It just... It just well, that's... You know, you get to a certain age, and believe me, it's over. <laughs> Tell me about it. Anyway, <laughs> so welcome back. Thank you, technologists everywhere. Uh, and so the uh, visit... Uh, the uh, the uh, Nuckies Hoagies tomorrow doing our show 3 to 6. And I have some... You know, just a, little th- a few things. Get away. Nothing, you know. I mean, don't go out of your way to be to say, "Well, give me something one of these." It's just, it's just. I got a couple things to give away: some T-shirts, and a couple of hats, and uh, some challenge coins. And uh, uh, in fact, I have a, I have a little. I, 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 I really feel funny about it. I have a, a miniature billboard. And back in the day, we worked another radio station here in Atlanta. And back in the day, they had had my picture on a bill, a great big billboard, uh, right in uh, Buckhead, right near the radio station. They had actually a bunch of them, but it was a picture of me in a great big billboard. And I think it said something like Kimmer's back me or whatever it was. I was coming back in here, whatever. And so I went to the to the marketing people and I said, you know what you ought to do? You ought to have a billboard of me with one of those fake mustaches and a Frankenstein scar going down my forehead. You know, with the ex railroad track scar and a big fake mustache and a bloody nose and all that stuff. And I said, that would be funny as hell. You know, that somebody marked up my photo, my uh, portrait. And so they did. And they did come out with a billboard like that. And I actually have, and I'm going to bring it tomorrow to give away, I actually have a miniature Billboard. It's actually a stand. It's a. Pla- it's about a, a four, or five, about a, maybe a five or six inch uh, big uh, plastic uh, a miniature billboard <laughs> with my picture on it, all doctored up like that. I think. I think I've got that. I think. So anyway, so I'm just, I'm just. We'll have a little fun tomorrow. And um, and I think uh, Neil Bortz may be joining us. He's sick uh, uh, today. He's going to join us at four normally, but he's got the flu or something. And so I don't know whether we can do that tomorrow. It might be kind of hard to do on a remote. It's, well, I, worst I, case scenario is we'll have them on early next week. Yeah, I, again, it, it, in fact, I probably shouldn't have mentioned it, although I should mention he's not going to be on today in case you're looking forward to it because he's sick. But uh, and it's, it's likely we probably will not be able to do it tomorrow because of the remote technology. But we'll, if not, you know, we, we'll take care of it. We'll, we'll, we'll get him on. And now uh, today at 5 o'clock, I believe we still will be talking with uh, Shannon Burke on his radio show, simulcasting each other on each other's program at 5 o'clock, right after uh, the uh, headline news thing. Okay, no, um, uh, so anyway, the fun uh, t- thing tomorrow. And again, uh, a free extra hoagie. If you buy one, you get a cold one free. Uh, uh, so, so. Yes, sir. Yes. I look like I'm skiing in the rock. Yeah, I don't right know. What, but the background is a beautiful purple mo- purple mountain haze. I mean, it's a gorgeous. Yeah, it's gorgeous. <laughs> what other options do you have? <laughs> now, are, you, are, you, are you setting that? or I mean, who no, sets that? No, it just showed up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'll be damned. <laughs> <laughs> oh, mercy. Anyway, um, a little bum bum. And let's see. And tomorrow's Good Friday. And... Um, I, you know, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm getting uh, emotional, and I don't normally do that. 
Uh, I don't know why. I, well, I actually, I, well, I, I, I can understand yeah. why because it's you're a, so stoic most of the time. Right? <laughs> yeah, I'm such. A, <laughs> I never really show anything, you know. I, no. <laughs> I keep it all hidden down below in there. <laughs> no one ever really knows how I feel about anything. <laughs> <laughs> it's old stone face, they old call you. Old stone face, Kimmer. <laughs> old never show anything, Kimmer. <laughs> anyway, I don't know, guy. Well, anyway, tomorrow we'll be here, and then it'll be gone, and then everything will be different. And um, so that's a scoop. All right, try three twelve already with a camera, Pete and Flounder. And let's see a couple things. Uh, oh, a couple things. Oh my God! Again, I went to my ear rocket uh, ear, ear doctor type people today. The te- apparently what happened was I haven't been able to hear with a crap for two weeks and what happens is every time my stinking phone does one of its stinking updates at 3 o'clock in the stinking morning it throws off my my app for my ear rockets and so she had to go in to set it like 9,000 different things to well you squirrel over here and go to that and I said no, I don't know how. so she wrote that she actually the sweet lady on, on uh, uh, I forgot the name of the place I'll get it uh, to give her a, a little plug uh, and she wrote down how I can do it in the future if the, if the Wi-Fi Bluetooth thing kicks off because the stinking phone does the stupid stinking thing. That this new technology that's supposed to make our life easier uh, once again uh, put me in misery for two weeks. I, I mean, I, I'm, I'm telling you, for guys like me in my age, we don't like this new crap. You know, go go back to the old things that freaking worked. Well, that's not going to happen. So I you either got to adapt I, well, or I'm, just. I'm not adapting, and I'm going to be angry and upset. I'm going to die grumpy. <laughs> that's a, that, that makes for a great working environment. <laughs> <laughs> Can't wait till tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I really couldn't believe it. That's right. My point was when I came out to the, me out of the of the office this morning, my car was totally covered in pollen. I mean, oh my god! And the traffic is is this like spring a uh, Good Friday break? Do people take Good Friday off from work? Everybody's oh, yeah. on the road today. I mean, I couldn't believe it. Well, Everywhere. I'm sure a lot of people are heading out of town because next week is spring break, and, and sometimes and they get yeah. out a little early. Yeah. Now spring break also has been over or almost over, so because of the uh, fluctuating times of it. But man, the traffic. Traffic today was brutal. Anyway, actual newsy stuff and uh, the actual Thursday program. Kevin Pete and Flounder, hope you're having a happy day. 313, and we'll give away those tickets here shortly with the uh, Don 106.3 right here. We already did. Oh, yeah. We gave them away. They're gone, and we don't have a, we have a they, winner's name. Jeff Duncan from Dallas, Georgia. The Dallas Junkins. Oh, my God. Jeff and the oh, uh, wonderful good people. people. They're probably good the people. best people in the. Uh, oh, my God. Uh, Kevin Pete and Flounder, more fun coming up. Well, have you had fun yet? I don't know. <laughs> have we? <laughs> Stream Clay Travis and Buck Sexton, Glenn Beck, Fox News, and even NASCAR on Sundays, anywhere on the Extra 106.3 app. Download the app now and get 24-7 access to the live stream, the latest news, and everything you need to know about Atlanta's only conservative talk station. Download the Extra 106.3 app for Apple or Android and check out even more great original content at thepodcastpark.com. Uh, greetings, it's only me, it's only the Kimmer, 314, uh, with the Kimmer, Pete, and Flounder, and back to the actual program. You know, I'm, I'm at this stage now where I want to make sure my kids know where everything is about my life, <laughs> you know, if something happens, uh, uh, where my living will is and stuff like that. Well, that's why you need a safe, and take it from the Kimmer, uh, be better than I am, because when I retired, went to Florida, I didn't have, I bought two safes from Atlanta Safe House. And AtlantaSafeHouse.com is where you can look to see what they can offer you with the safes they have from gun safes to pistol safes and high security safes and business safes. And I'm telling you, they've got everything. And the prices are just fantastic. Those I bought two gun safes, man, and they are always on sale. They can bolt them from the inside to your concrete floor, your garage, your basement, whatever. Anyway, so when I went to Florida, I didn't have a safe down there. Can't find medical records. Boom, bam, I got a problem because of it. And the VA says, leave us alone. Well, if I had had my stuff locked up, as I now my kids know where everything is, uh, it just makes it a lot easier. And again, it's, it's not you know the things you're living will, it's some medical records you know, like I didn't have down there and things you need to, for the kids to go back to school in the fall. Uh, banking records and your mortgage stuff and tax, I mean all that stuff. As well as thing, your mementos you want to keep forever like I was mentioning the other day, my, my, my letters I wrote to my, my folks from Vietnam for crying out loud. Anyway, a lot, and your social security card. I want to make sure you mention it's not going in your wallet 
and it doesn't go in there. Please tell them the Kimmer sent you. They have a showroom in Ackworth, and you'll love what you see. Great prices and uh, great sales, and these guys, uh, Jeff and Mark, only use off-duty police, firefighters, and military folks to deliver it for you to say thanks for what you do. Look them up, atlantasafehouse.com. At the Piedmont Bank, we're proud to be one of Georgia's largest community banks, focusing on serving businesses and the communities they serve. With headquarters right here in Metro Atlanta, our tailored banking expertise and solutions help meet the diverse needs of our customers so they have what it takes to grow, expand, and thrive. It's what elevates us above the rest. Find a location near you at Piedmont.Bank and experience elevated banking for you and your business. The Piedmont Bank. Banking elevated. Member FDIC and Equal Housing Lender. Hey Atlanta, it's Ben, host of the Weekend Ben Burnett Show, proudly brought to you by Peach State Pride. Each and every weekend, we bring you all the issues going on around the globe and what America's ultimate role is in order to drive our agenda forward as conservatives. And if you ever miss an episode, you can download everything I've ever done on Apple, Spotify, or you can go to the podcast park. See you around, Atlanta. Hey, it's the Kimmer. You know, we cover a lot on the Kimmer Show, including holy crap at sports with a fellow ordained minister, Pete Davis. NCAA Pres Charlie Baker calling for a ban on college prop bets and stays with legal sports wagering. North Carolina now has it. Uh, short for prop bets or proposition bets, props are wagers not related to the final score, like a side bet on the over-under how many three-pointers a player will make during the game. Uh, the request comes on the heels of ESPN reporting that the NBA is looking to betting irregularities involving Toronto forward Jonte Porter. At issue, two games which prop bets on Porter were the two biggest winners in the NBA. On both occasions, Porter left the game early, which ensured the under hit on the bets. ESPN has not reported a link between him and the wagers, but the activity was flagged by Lee Data Scientist. Catch Kimber, Pete, and Flounder every afternoon from 3 to 6 p.m. on Extra 106.3 FM and the Extra app. Lee Brand Jewelry and Watch Company, where quality and value make the difference. Locally owned and located in Sandy Springs, offering you the finest selection of unique diamonds, sapphires, rubies, and emerald jewelry, as well as other fine gemstones. Lee Brand Jewelry and Watches has been servicing Rolex watches for over 30 years, and their Rolex-trained watchmaker will service your watch in their state-of-the-art Rolex service center in their store. Lee Brand uses only genuine Rolex parts, and their estimates are free. Drop by Lee Brand in the Trader Joe's Shopping Center in Sandy Springs, or visit LeeBrand.com. <laughs> it doesn't sound like Justin Bieber to me. <laughs> oh, I <laughs> forgot about him. Screw him. He, we don't need he Justin. Sucks anyway. Yeah, in fact, there was a story about him yesterday with P. Diddy when Justin, was it Justin Bieber or was it the other one? No, it was Justin Bieber. Yeah, that when kinda, he was 15 years old, was hanging was out with chicks, by... getting girls, yeah, and uh, being groomed by P. Diddy to be God knows what. And by the way, that P. Diddy story, holy crap. I mean, we're going to talk more about that later. Anyway, Kimber Pete and Flounder, uh, 319. Flounder, our musical director, has chosen us. I love this song, and I used to love this girl. And was this the video with her dancing around those, with those colored socks? Yes. Man, I'll that tell you what. Teal you know, dress. I want to go right there and kiss her on the mouth. I'll tell you what. That was the one hot chick. Whitney Houston. God, what a shame, you idiot. Somebody should have just slapped her and said, grabbed her by the neck and said, stop it. Come I'm on. sure Bobby did that a few times. Yeah, but not in the good way. You know, not in the happy good way. <laughs> Hold on, SWAT to him. I'll get it. We got phones right here. Whitney Houston on this day in 2006. Tina Brown, the sister-in-law of Whitney, sold pictures taken in her bathroom to the National Enquirer, claiming Whitney Houston had been taking crack cocaine. The picture showed drug paraphernalia with a crack smoking pipe, rolling papers, cocaine caked spoons, and cigarette ends strewn across the surface tops of the bathroom in 2006. And I don't know, as the sister-in-law, she was trying to get her to straighten up or straighten out or whatever. I don't remember when she died. Uh, drowning or something. What a, what a horrible shame. God, the talent. I mean, just... Anyway, uh, 320, 320. Got a quick birthday note. Oh, who can forget the meat dress? Yes, Lady Gaga, 38 years old today. Harley Quinn in this year's Joker 
sequel. I didn't know that. All right. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't get my... Uh, Flounder, is this a message from you for today? Here, I should turn up my phone. Just a good phone. story for later. Oh, uh, Dave Porton. I, okay. Oh, excellent, excellent. And by the way, we'll talk about that police officer thing. And Don, isn't this funny? I, I'm, I'm still doing the uh, convert thing stuff. Donald Trump, of course, is at the wake for the murdered police officer killed by a guy with 21 arrests. Uh, and Putty Tat, uh, as, as along with our uh, president, uh, cop killer, Joe, cop killer murderer, and Putty Tat and the uh, rapist. So, <laughs> oh my God. So, Joe, president, cop killer, is with a rapist and a racist to raise money while Donald Trump is attending the wake of a murdered police officer. Uh, I think that kind of shows a little something about the difference between the parties and where we are in this country. Holy crap, think about it. Our president is with a rapist and a racist. And Donald Trump, who's been accused of 98 felonies that'll put him in prison for 800 years, is uh, is praying over the dead body and for the family of a slain police officer. Oh, man. Put that in a freaking cap of picture side by side with the three of those scumbags, you know, cheering and raising money. And Donald Trump with his head bowed, praying over a dead cop. 322. Much, bunch of, I mean, oh, my God. Really? Is it, doesn't it make you sick? I mean, doesn't it make you sick? All right. Sorry, sorry, sorry. sorry. I'm in a funny mood today. I'll try to be nicer and happier. Uh, I'm starting right now. Okay, good. Hey, how's it going? Uh, on this day in 1885, the Salvation Army was officially organized in America. Salvation Army. I've rung their bell. In fact, I remember doing that at Atlantic Square, ringing the bell at Atlantic Square one time. <laughs> that thing is loud, by the way. People don't like it. I mean, it's loud. <laughs> There's a bell at Atlantic Square? Well, I, 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 it was the Salvation Army. They're the ones that do the, do the kettle thing, right? With the oh, bell. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. All right. I thought maybe they ring a bell for every shooting in the parking lot. They <laughs> no, they wouldn't be. Well, you know, it would just sound like a constant stream of, you know. <laughs> It'd be a, a cacophony of ding, ringing dong, bells. Dong, ding, dong, dong. <laughs> ding, ding, dong, the bang. You know. <laughs> uh, 1885, Salvation Army, and on this day in 1917, the wax. We're, or, you know what the wax are? Does that sound familiar to you, Pete Davis? The wax? Like Larry Wax? No, and uh, Flounder, how do I say the wax? That we're founded on this day. Do you know what that is? Like, like surf wax? The Women's Army Auxiliary Corps. I was uh, way off. Uh, like the waves for the Navy, Williams uh, w- w- uh, Women's Auxiliary now, what the hell was wave? <laughs> now, wait, now why, why would it be oh, waves? Women's Auxiliary. Uh, oh, what the uh, hell does wave stand for? I know for? a V word they could use well, there. That, but that wouldn't be right. <laughs> <laughs> women's, <laughs> women's awesome. Fi- no, we can't say that. <laughs> <laughs> but the wax were Women's uh, Army Auxiliary Corps. Uh, and boy, what the hell were the waves then? The women's... It's uh, so it's Navy, yeah, but it's name, but it would be W A N Women's Auxiliary Naval Corps. So uh, W you know, N B C. Anyway, I'm sorry, I'm getting totally confused here. Uh, but uh, okay, so I'll, I'll be better. I swear to God, I'm, I'm trying to work out a thing here. Tomorrow we talk to Swatoon. Uh, I'm going to do that right now. Uh, I mean, in fact, I was going to say, hey, let's talk to Swatoon. <laughs> Flounders keeping me definitely trying to keep me under control, and I really appreciate it because I'm not in control at all. So I told him you're on the radio. What's up, man? How you doing? Hey, Kimmer. They say with age come wisdom, and uh, knowing you, you live long life. You have bad days, good days, sad days, you know, happy days. Yeah, it's all you know, in I mean, there. if they make a Forrest Gump number two, they should go ahead by your life. Well. Anyway, I have a question for you that you might be only answer somebody who's older than you might answer. Okay. Why are politicians? Why are politicians bad in the country's bank accounts, but are always good in their own bank account? They make money in their account while they lose countries of money. You know, it's, isn't that amazing? They make uh, like two hundred and twenty thousand dollars a year or something, and they all tend to be rich uh, by the time they leave. Like, like Nancy Pelosi's worth a hundred million dollars. Now, wait a minute. <laughs> I don't know, Swatu. Do we just lose Swatu? <laughs> Good question. Uh, now I see. I see a bunch of lines lit. Fly. Are those all calls and stuff? Swatu, you still there? No. Okay. So we got I a new caller right here. Okay, <laughs> and we'll find out who. The, hi, you're on the radio. Who's this? Hi, I'm calling from Roswell, and yeah. I'm in. And my name is Jasmine. Hi, I Jasmine. Say, yes. Hi. I want to say, yes. please don't um, talk about Whitney like that because she was killed. She was, don't talk about she what? Did not die. 
I'm sorry. Uh, I, I, did, um, I, 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 I didn't hear. I tell, you, tell from the very beginning. Don't talk about who. I, I don't know what, what you're referring to. Whitney Houston. She's Whitney not Houston. An idiot. Yeah, oh. she was killed. Oh she was well, not. you know, I, I, I frankly, I, you know, you're right. I agree, and I accept your uh, uh, legitimate criticism. But the fact of the matter is, I mean, I just, I, I'm so upset because I loved that girl. I mean, I loved her I singing. Know. I loved I her love talent. Her she was. I mean, I, I, I just, I, I can't. I, I every time I, I hear her, I, I, it just drives right. me freaking nuts. And and I, I just, it makes yeah. it makes no sense. I mean, somebody shouldn't. I mean, somebody had somebody, somebody had, had to have, have the power. Right, right really happened that's what they need to yeah, do yeah i know well listen thank you sweetie i'm so i'm so glad you called and let's try to we'll be we'll, we'll remember the happy thoughts and when i hear her song i'm gonna smile because i used to love her talent and i and i still remember that picture her dance around those silly white colored socks and she was so cute and i'll remember that uh, from now on with whitney houston uh 326 again i appreciate your phone calls if you have something to say say it that's what it's, it's called radio. That's what we used to do. Right. Back in the old, people are used to making phone. I, I swear to God, I'll bet she hasn't used her phone for a phone call in a week. <laughs> you know, amazing. We now have Jacqueline on the line, and she wants to talk about your hearing aids. Oh, good. <laughs> Hi, Jacqueline. Uh, just speak up, okay? I'm oh, sorry. Hi, you're on the radio. Hi, hello. <laughs> hello, darling. I have listened to you for a very long time. Well, you're very but sweet. But you are a marine. Yes. You must. Improvise, adapt, and overcome with your hearing aid. Oh, I have. Believe me, I've spent the last two weeks <laughs> well, surviving. As, as a sister of a Marine and the mother of a Marine, stop whining. Oh, uh, go. <laughs> Tough <Woo>! chick. Hoorah, <laughs> <laughs> <Ura>, baby. <laughs> Buck up. <laughs> Buck up, Marine. <laughs> <laughs> Tough crowd. Tough crowd. <laughs> Holy smokes. <laughs> Jeez, I get no respect. I got nothing, you know. <laughs> Good Lord. Uh, 328 already with a Kiver Pete and Flounder on your Thursday. Oh, let's do a quick soundbite here. Flounder with uh, Fulton County Superior Court Judge uh, Scott a a McAfee heard arguments today in Georgia where Steve Sadow, Trump's leading attorney, uh, tried to argue that his entire uh, uh, protected speech should have been uh, protected from the beginning and the charges against him for false statements are protected should never have been brought. Here's Steve Sadow in court today. He was silent for a moment and then he spoke right after the silence. There's not a finding that the speech itself, beyond the speech itself, is fraudulent. What the state wants to do is say, we have a goal. We have an objective here that we have put forward. Steal the election in an unlawful fashion. I say change that for a second to legitimate concern about the validity of the election. If that was the way you focused on it, which is a way to do it as applied, even with the facts, would what President Trump said on those counts be a protected speech? And the answer is it has to be, because the only thing that makes it fraudulent is the state saying it's false. Take every one of those and say, okay, it's not false. It's protected. You know, this is, I, I watched as much, I was, you know, of course, the doctor stuff and doing stuff, but I watched as much as I could live for parts of it this morning. And I'll tell you what, if you if you have any interest in the law at all, these, these cases are really fascinating because you have to remember, if it's protected free speech, then you can't possibly be charged for it. And if it's, if, if it's not protected speech, such as, such as yelling fire in a crowded movie theater, then that's a whole different story. But in a political campaign, I mean, we're not talking talking about fire in a crowded movie theater. I mean, I mean this is really, really, and the specific, you, you can't have it both ways. And so someone's going to have to decide, and the judge today said, well, you're, you can go ahead and appeal, and I'll keep hearing the court case as needed. There's no trial date set yet. He's, he's going to set a trial date, but it hasn't been scheduled yet. He's still hearing motions, and this was one of them today. And I'll tell you, this is, I mean, it's really, and by the way, some Democrat Party officials are telling Fannie the floozy to shut the hell up. And, you know, stay out of the pulpit and keep your mouth shut. And you're not helping anybody except your own political career. 3.30, Kevin Pete and Flound. It's only Thursday, too. Here we go. Look out. Hey, 
Marcus Rhino from The Morning Extra getting your weekday morning started from 6 to 10 a.m. The Lake and Riley Act was proposed in maybe the most friendly and gentle of ways possible. This is not a hardcore immigration bill. Here's an act that if there is some sort of crime, it has to be burglary, theft, larceny, or shoplifting. Hopefully, you can then head off this person from escalating the kinds of crimes they're doing. Every Democrat voted against it. The Morning Extra, 6 to 10 a.m. on Extra 106.3 FM and the Extra app. Buying a new car is about way more than just a car. You want to love it and everything that comes with it. And at Subaru of Gwinnett, we get that. You want to love the website. Easy to browse, easy to shop, and an unrivaled selection so you can find the model that suits you. Like the 2024 Subaru Outback, Crosstrek, or Ascent. All offering impressive gas mileage, standard symmetrical all-wheel drive, and the tools to explore the things you love. You want to love the people. And know that every time you stop by the dealership on Satellite Boulevard in Duluth, they'll be there for you, ready to help in any way possible. And you want to love the service. We'll check that box for you also, because during the spring sales event, there's a lot to love. So stop in during the Subaru A Lot to Love event, and you'll find just that, a lot to love. Start your shopping online at SubaruOfGwinnett.com and find the ride that best suits you, because love is what makes a Subaru a Subaru. Subaru of Gwinnett, Satellite Boulevard in Duluth, and online at SubaruOfGwinnett.com. Millions of guys suffer from erectile dysfunction. That's one in four men. And I can tell you, I'm one of them. If you or someone you know suffer from ED, Peyronie's disease, or PE, here's 38-year emergency room doctor and founder of Total Body Therapy of Georgia, Dr. Eric Deal. Patients who enter my office are often frustrated, hopeless, depressed, and embarrassed. I understand the problem, and I'm going to help you fix it. There are lots of competitors that don't have the credentials that I have. When you go to other clinics, you're not going to see a board-certified physician with the experience that I have. When you come to our clinic, you're going to see me. There's just not one therapy that can solve these complex issues. I'll do a complete history and physical prior to any treatment that we use. Take it from me, Dr. Deal. When it's not hard, it's really hard. Call Dr. Deal for your free one-on-one evaluation and resolve your ED, peronies, or PE issues. Total Body Therapy of Georgia, 404-777-1911. 404-777-1911. Online at StopMyED.com. Hey, sandwich lovers, today is your lucky day. There's a whole new way to roll for lunch or dinner delight with Nucky's Hoagies in the Roswell Corners Shopping Center. Now open, Nucky's Hoagies in Roswell is family owned and operated by the subsisters, Stacey and Shannon, whose love language is food and Nucky's Hoagies, their passion. When you bite into a Nucky's Hoagie, you'll taste the difference. The softest hoagie rolls ever, along with hunger quenching sandwich combinations. Make Nucky's Hoagies in Roswell on Woodstock Road your new favorite spot for lunch or dinner. <laughs> All right, now I have no idea who you're playing here, Floundry. I don't know whether you're skipping around you on too. me. <laughs> That's good. This it sounds like you too, but I didn't know whether Bieber had something going on in the past on his life. Yeah. <laughs> we'll play a little you too here. I reckon I know you too now. <laughs> Are they still okay? Are they uh, doing anything? Are they doing anything anti-American or anything these days? No, they are just they, okay? did, they just played forty nights at the Sphere. Okay, so they're they're they're, they're good. You know, they're good. They're, they're okay with us. Uh, they had a little problem there for a while. I think they were kind of nasty about America for a while there. But uh, two thousand five, this day, U two playing a warm up date the night before at the Elias Sports Arena. U two kicked off their Vertigo tour at I Pay One Center in San Diego. It was a 131-date world tour. They'd see the band playing in North America, Europe, South America, and Japan. The Vertigo Tour sold 4.6 million tickets, grossing about $390 million. The second highest figure ever for a world tour, $390 million. I mean, that's just unbelievable. I mean, wow. I am good. For, you know, geez. We should do that. Can we do? Can we do like a world tour and make three hundred ninety? Yeah, million we're now? starting tomorrow at Nucky's. Yeah. Oh man, this opening. is going to be great. I bet hey. they did. I, we should probably tell them because they're good. The crowd then now. Nah, you mentioned oh. that. They were, I think, oh my God, Nucky's hoagies tomorrow. The Kimber Pete and Flounder World Tour. It's Begins. the beginning. Oh, day one. Opening date. I wonder what our second date's going to be. 
<laughs> probably probably having our travel agent arrange that now. I'm thinking somewhere, you know, tropical maybe. I don't know, Tahiti. The Roswell, yeah. Roswell uh, City Hooskow. Well, I know there's a bike shop up there somewhere nearby that probably would like a little personal appearance maybe. I don't know. Uh, let's see, 335. Our birthday list includes Julia Stiles. Uh, 43 years old. Uh, she was in uh, Save the Last Dance, 10 Things I Hate About You, uh, The Omen remake, and The Bourne movies. I, I don't, I never liked her. I never thought she was a very I, good actress. I didn't either. I, didn't I don't either. know why she's gotten all these great roles. I mean, seriously, she's, uh, she overacts. Uh, anyway, I'm sorry, I don't mean... Uh, oh, I don't mean to be negative. For our Marine mom, I, I, I wasn't being negative about somebody's personality. I, I was dealing with her personality by mentioning, okay? I wasn't being negative, though, okay? You know, I wasn't whining about her, you know, being a bad actress. You know. No, no, really, I really know. It's a... <laughs> does the Marine allow a woman to talk to him like that? I don't think he does. I don't think he does. <laughs> I'm not a man. Uh, 1979. <laughs> not men. 19. You know, I was thinking about women. I, 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 no, no wonder women. I, that's why women. Women don't like men. Women don't respect men. Women don't appreciate men, and for good reason, by the way, for good reason. And I, I don't. I, I understand it. In fact, I got a couple of hot. I got like babe chick uh, the dating uh, love stories coming up here in the news today, including some freaking Siamese twin girls, and even they got married. Hey, anyway, we'll talk about that stuff. And also, an old lady says they're hitting on me like crazy. So, I, yeah, I know. All right, hold on. 1979, Three Mile Island. You know, I wasn't really whining. I was just passing along. Oh, sorry. Move on. All focus. right. All right, shut up. 1979, Three Mile Island. Radiation pours out when a cooling plant goes all foobar near Harrisburg, Pennsylvania. They didn't tell the public about it for five hours after all the gas escaped. And then I looked this up. This is hard to believe. 1979, Three Mile Island. They called it the worst uh, nuclear reactor event of all time. Of course, they have the Russian thing later. But anyway, uh, they didn't tell the public five hours gas escape. Hard to believe that nobody died as a direct result of Three Mile Island. And even the cancer death rates in the community never changed. Which is amazing. Because uh, it was really uh, very, very bad. Uh, 338, Camera Pete and Flounder. 3 o'clock hour brought to you by our good friends at First Liberty Building and Loan. If you need financing to grow your business, then visit firstlibertyga.com. And you'll be glad you did. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Uh, uh, again, uh, Neil Borch normally joins us at 4 o'clock on Thursdays, but he's unable to because he is ill. And so he'll uh, hopefully, well, we probably can't do it tomorrow because we're on the remote tomorrow at Nucky's Hoagies in Roswell, 3 to 6. And it'd be kind of hard to set up a remote from his where he is. God knows where that might be. Anyway, um, to the newsy stuff, to the newsy stuff. They had the wake has just been going on, the funeral and the wake for the officer, the slain New York City police officer, Jonathan Diller, who was wearing a bulletproof vest. But the scumbag who shot him, the violent ex-con with 21 prior arrests. Shot him just under the chest part of the bulletproof vest and went into his belly and killed him. Mm. And the two most important, well, there's several most important things to learn about this. First of all, the sergeant's uh, union, police union is telling all those Democrats who voted against the police officers and police departments to stay the hell away from the funeral. Just don't don't bother. It says, I'm sure many elected officials will attend the f funeral, shed a few crocodile tears, and prominently seat themselves for a good photo opportunity, said the head of the uh, union of the police. Uh, the sad reality is we don't want them there. We don't want them there. These are the people who kept voting to defund the police and let criminals out of jail, posting a politically motivated condolences on social media. Their presence is more than a distraction, he said. It's a stain on the legacy of a true hero who made the ultimate sacrifice, as well as the scores of dedicated and committed public servants who will carry on his mission despite their constant criticism, cynicism, negativity, and frivolous accusations. And for the record, this guy says they'd rather see the city burn and countless lives lost rather than correct their legislative mistakes and give the city at least a chance at survival or a resurgence. The scumbag cop killer had 21 prior arrests, 9 felonies, it was during a routine stop that there's any such thing as a routine stop. 
A cops uh, returned fire. He's in police custody. A uh, friend, by the way, in the same car, uh, a 41-year-old convicted of attempted murder 20 years ago, served time in prison, somehow is out on the streets, even though he has a pending felony firearms case from last year and has a convicted, a convicted attempted killer, they still let him out anyway? And, he, and by the way, they found uh, a handgun with the serial numbers filed off and <laughs> along with him, too. I mean, you know, these are just pillars of the community, aren't they? Mm-hmm. And they keep getting high, high, 21 arrests, nine felonies. And he finally killed a cop. And by the way, I, I, can't, I, 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 I hope his mugshot uh, is hard to tell what his face looks like. You know, we have plenty of room in this country for more prisons. Absolutely. I got no problem with more prisons. Abso- I mean, seriously. Uh, but uh, but it's, the, it's the policies. I mean, they keep letting these people go. Well, it's because George Soros puts in the DAs and gets them God. elected, and they don't enforce the laws, and they let them back out. It's The whole, whole thing is designed to destroy the system. But you know, the, the thing that kills me is these, you know, these uh, self, like you keep mentioning, these self-loathing, guilt-ridden liberals who for some reason feel bad ab- about criminals having to suffer the consequences of their actions. Where where did that yeah. come from? Well, they, they act like if you grow up poor, you have a right to, to be violent. There are poor people by the billions around this world yeah, who do victims. not turn yeah. violent. I, 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 I don't know where, where did it come from. It, it, Entitlement. I mean, and white guilt and, and all this BS white guilt, self-loathing. Again, I, I said that, you know, the cell phone and we're all, all of a sudden we're all in the plight of the poor people saying, oh, but woe is me. I think I, I and uh, public education, the forced education camps in America uh, and the cell phone between it all. It's just, you know, it's all of a sudden people react to stuff that's really none of their damn business and really doesn't mean anything to their lives. Uh, I, I mean, the whole George Floyd yeah. thing, again, the greatest example, George Floyd, a, a career criminal, fought cops and got killed for it from a drug overdose. The drugs killed him and the cop held him down because he kept fighting and the guy died. That it's not a national thing that leads to statues and moratoriums and and murders and shootings and riots and burning down warehouses and car lots and buildings and looting and on the I mean unbelievable what happened because of that one case. I am not responsible by what my great great grandfather did if he did something bad. Neither am I in any kind of way of being held uh, as nice because my great-great-grandfather fought for the Union Army during the Civil War. I mean, right. neither yeah. way, good or bad, I'm not responsible for what he did. Yeah. Uh, a four-year-old Japanese girl has nothing to do with Pearl Harbor either. Right. I, I mean, you know, I mean, let's, let's really, let's, be, let's do it from, from any possible anger, uh, angle. There's no way that any of this makes sense. I mean, anybody's political angle, it still doesn't make sense for someone to be punished for, you know, for hundreds of years of something of history that's now trying to be erased. It makes sense if you're trying to crush the system and replace it with something else. Yeah, I guess. That's just it's so disappointing. And by the way, speaking of a prison sense, I, I mean, uh, this. Uh, what's your reaction to this? That uh, idiot crypto king Sam Bankman Freed, who, what is he, like 25, 28, 30 years old, something like that. He just got sentenced to 25 years in prison. The prosecutors wanted like 60. And he um, went before the judge and said, well, I made a lot of mistakes and so forth. The judge was not much convinced. And uh, the judge, uh, apparently the, his customers lost $8 billion. Uh, from uh, investing in his business. However, apparently they all got their money back. Uh, Let's see. The uh, customers lost $8 billion, investors, uh, Alameda Research, hedge funds, and so forth. And then uh, the 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 state said the defendant's assertion that the FTX customers and creditors will be paid in full is misleading. And apparently they're all going to get their money back. But the prosecutor... Uh, and the judge uh, uh, court case said that the uh, it's logically flawed, it's speculative. A thief who takes his loot to Las Vegas and successfully bets the stolen money is not entitled to a discount on the sentence by using his Las Vegas winnings to pay back what he stole. So, uh, I mean, it's a kind of a convoluted thing. Uh, but if you look at the comparisons, uh, this crypto guy, Sam Bankman, doofy doofy, got 25 years. Uh, disgraced Theranos founder Elizabeth Holmes is serving an 11-year sentence. For the basically the same kind of cheating her customers with false evidence on her product and so forth, uh, she faced as much as eighty years in prison. Bernie Madoff got sentenced to hundred and fifty years, and he died in prison. And that was mostly a you know we're going to show you about that. Uh, but this guy uh, Sam Bankman Freed, twenty five years, and if this is a federal case, that means no parole. As my understanding, if this is a fe- they don't they don't parole in the federal system. 
Now, I don't know whether that's uh, true in this case or not. But anyway, geez. Uh, murderers, don't, murderers get 8 to 12. <laughs> so, oh, I mean, I'm glad. I mean, I don't have a problem with it. He's, you know, he'll. You know. His mistake? He wasn't working for Goldman Sachs. Apparently, yeah. <laughs> Good point. Uh, it's quarter of four already. Kimber Pete and Flounder, how's it going? Good to have you aboard. It's Thursday, man. Uh, what's up? The legend Neil Bortz is only on Extra 1063. Hey, it's the camera. How's it going? Here's what you miss from the Talkmaster. Something that I'm enjoying wholeheartedly the death of DEI, diversity, equity, and inclusion. All concepts that ignore individuality and celebrate group identities. How long ago did I first start warning you about the word equity? It doesn't mean what you think it means. In its purest sense, it means everybody ought to have the same amount of stuff. Catch Neil's commentary every day on Extra 106.3 or listen anytime on the Extra 106.3 app. Hey, homeowners, Tug here with some exciting news. Southern Exteriors is your one-stop solution for top-notch exterior services, from roofing to siding, windows, gutters, and more. No more waiting. They can start on your project immediately. And with an in-house warranty division, Southern Exteriors stands by their work for years to come. From leaky roofs to faded siding, trust Southern Exteriors for a quick and lasting transformation. Don't wait. Transform your home today. Call 877-9-SOUTHERN or visit southernexteriors.co now. Southern Exteriors, quality and precision you can rely on for over 20 years. Hey there, it's Janelle King, host of the Janelle King Show right here on Extra 106.3 FM, where we are unafraid and unapologetic. We explore the topics that matter the most. You can catch us on Saturdays at 4 p.m. and Encore episode on Sundays at 9 a.m. And catch up on past episodes by going to the Podcast Park right here at Extra 106.3 or wherever you get your podcasts every single Tuesday. Until then, stay unafraid, stay unapologetic, and never stop seeking the truth. Atlanta is marked for the safe house. And now, the security riddle of the day. What's less secure than a fake safe from a furniture big box store? Joe Biden's fake border policy, of course. But hey, there is good news. This time next year, Joe Biden will not be president. So drop right at Atlanta safe house and check out the largest selection of safes in the southeast. Build a wall around your valuables with a safe from the safe house. We have certified delivery crews to install your safe. With over 30 years in the safe business, the safe house is the place to buy safe in Georgia. So go to atlantasafehouse.com. Pack your bags and join the Georgia Tech Yellow Jackets football team in Dublin, Ireland as Toby's Leather to kick off the 2024 football season in Dublin. The Erlingus College Football Classic will feature your Yellow Jackets versus the Florida State Seminoles in a special Week Zero matchup on August 24, 2024. Don't miss this unique opportunity to visit one of the world's most popular travel destinations while cheering on the Jackets on a global stage. For travel packages, tickets, and more information, go to gt2ireland.com. Sting them. Did you know one of the best investments you can make? It's in yourself. At My Computer Career, in just a few months, you can start your new career in the high-demand, recession-resistant field of information technology. Isn't it time you invest in you and start a career in networking, cybersecurity, AI, or upskill to boost your current IT career? So get the ROI you deserve at My Computer Career. No experience necessary. Start now at mycomputercareer.edu. Financial aid is available for qualified students, including the GI Bill. <laughs> uh, yeah, what it is. Chris Wallace. My shorty. It's my poor Wallace. With the, the, the wall was how come they how come they do the wall I mean, do the wall that what that sound my shorty is that why it, why is that it's a New York thing, thing. It's, is, is that what it is because yeah. that, that I don't know that could Brooklyn. be anyway uh, Kim repeat and founder how you doing ten before four this is Puff Daddy and on this day in two thousand one the artist formerly known as both Puffy and Puff Daddy said in an interview on MTV that he now wants to be known as P Diddy. 
<laughs> in August 2005, he changed his stage name to simply Diddy. Now, Diddy or didn't he? And holy cow, is he in the news? And we'll talk a whole bunch about that and uh, his sex worker and 50 cents thing there and the lawsuit. I mean, holy moly. This guy, sound, honestly, he sounds like a worse combination than uh, Jeffrey Epstein and uh, Harvey Rapestein. I mean, seriously. And, and he got away with it for, what, 20 years or more? I mean, good Lord. If those things, if, if even half of the accusations are true, it was a crime ring. Anyway, wow. Three, well, 351. We'll, we'll, we'll delve into it a little bit later. Quick birthday list for you here includes Kate Goslin, 49, the mother of eight children and at least three reality shows, it says here. Now, is she the one? That, did they get caught doing something bad or was that the other one? There's some family that, that was really slimy and uh, got caught in I think they're all in jail or something now. Or they mistreated their kids and their kids hate them now. There's one of those families that was real famous, and, and it's real... Sh I saw something the other day. I don't read much about it, but it just popped up on my phone where the kids now are claiming that they were abused, and the, uh, I think their parents are in jail or something. I don't know. Anyway, Kate Goslin's 49. I don't know if she has anything to do with that. Mother of eight. I, I think she might be all right. I don't know. I have no idea. I'm just giving her birthday. <laughs> and I'm not whining about it. I'm just giving the facts. Oh, sorry. So you're just casting aspersions out there. And <laughs> just, no idea. I'm casting possible aspersions. <laughs> There's a big difference, mister, between aspersions and possible aspersions. I'm covered legally because my aspersions were possible aspersions. In your opinion. In my own opinion. Allegedly. <laughs> <laughs> Reportedly. As your attorney, I advise you to throw allegedly in there. Every... Say, reportedly, you can say <laughs> reportedly. Repeat, police reportedly say. <laughs> <laughs> Sprinkle and... in that word every, now, every sentence or two. <laughs> and on this day in 19... 1963, the classic Alfred Hitchcock movie, The Birds was released. It starred Melanie Griffith's mom, Tippi Hedren, and Rod Taylor. <laughs> Rod Taylor. He always yeah. walked around like a professional talking man. He could have been an anchor man or he could have been an actor, but by God, he had the hair and the square jaw, and he always walked around like he knew what he was doing. Uh, I mean, every single role was exactly the same. <laughs> they played War of the World guy one time. And, uh, time Machine, <laughs> War of the World. Yeah, Time Machine. Come on. When, if that Mimio was that, wasn't that? Oh, oh. God. Mm. Yes, please. Mm, yes. <laughs> oh, yeah. Mm. Mm -hmm. Oh, Lord, what a beautiful little sweet creature she was. Oh, my God, Yvette, Yvette Mimio. Yikes. Anyway. I know men, okay? We're doing a Moogle gang, you blamed weapon about a girl in the movies 40 years ago. So sue me. 50 <laughs> It's all I got. <laughs> that and the Actually, fact that once, you know, I have my Asian cheerleader night every couple of weeks, and I do, you know, an hour or so that, on girlkiss.com. Kimmer, I, what, what? That, that movie is 60 years old at least. Uh, well, I... <laughs> <laughs> 40. I don't Please. know. I, mean, I, I, I know. I, I'm so whacked out about about chronological stuff. It's something. The, the older you the get, 80s everything is were gone. 40 years. I know. That's, right. that's what I'm saying. I, I, it's hard to believe. I know. Nineties to thirty years ago. <laughs> How is that possible? <laughs> oh, you know the bad thing is, you know what the kids today are saying? What? They're calling things the late nineteen hundreds. <laughs> 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 oh no! Uh, yeah, time for me to go. <laughs> I can't cope. I'm out. <laughs> Late night. Oh my lord! All right, uh, three fifty-four. How's it going? Four zero four seven four one twelve thirty seven four one one two three zero. If you'd like to join us, we're kind of goofing around here. And tomorrow we're looking forward. It's going to be fun tomorrow. We at uh, at uh, Nucky's Hokies in Roswell on Woodstock Road in Roswell. We'll be there 3 to 6 doing our show live. And I'd uh, love to have you come by and say hi. I think the morning show was asking people to come by and give me a hug. No, we, we, we do not encourage touching the gimmer. Uh, this this could be you. And plus, when you get up close, you're not going to want to do it anyway. Oh, I, I I saw you on TV on the monitor on YouTube, but I, I didn't realize it, you know, <laughs> when I got up close. Uh, so don't worry about that. Or I'll be Bring fine. it in. Bring it in. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Group hug, yeah. <laughs> 
I suppose I better make sure I wash the, you know, my car thoroughly in case, you know, hot babes want me to take them for a ride after. So I, usually eight or ten hot babes want me to take them for a little ride, you know, so uh, show giggity, up. Giggity, giggity. <laughs> By the way, that's one of the funniest sound effects of a of a character. <laughs> giggity, giggity. <laughs> giggity, giggity. That's all you have to say. Everybody knows exactly. <laughs> oh God, three fifty five. I don't know what's the matter with me today. I'll tell you. Um, yes, I do, and I'm not telling you. Uh, investigators, Franklin, uh, Francis, uh, Francis Scott Key Bridge deal. Okay. Now, I guess they found two bodies. Is that? Do I understand that? Correct? I think they have At still least. more four to look for. And the uh, now they, they're talking now about why the tugboats weren't there. And again, that's what my first one of my early questions was: Why did they leave? Apparently, the uh, a tugboat. If you're not, if you've never seen a tugboat or been on a tugboat, man, they are really unbelievable uh, uh, vehicles, boats. They uh, they push and pull and tow and make the uh, ship great big ships go where they want them to for safety reasons. And on Tuesday, when it happened, a pair of tugboats did the standard equipment thing and uh, helped the uh, the ships dock and none dock and stuff like that. They help the dally, the boat, unmoor itself from the main terminal in Baltimore and orient the ship toward the open waters and then broke away before the ship navigated under the bridge. And by the way, that's a common practice. The dolly appeared to lose power and propulsion, sending the craft adrift into the support column. Bing, bang, pow, boom. Now, if the tugboats had stayed with the ship all the way under the bridge, it's very likely that they would have been able to either stop or slow or steer the ship when it lost power away from the structure. But the industry's reliance, according to experts here, industry's reliance on tugboats has waned over the years because of the advance in technology giving ships the ability to maneuver through channels independently. The guy says technology is great until it fails. If they had had uh, ships with bow and stern thrusters used in terms of tugs like the tugs used them, wouldn't have been a problem. If the tugs had stayed there, but again, they don't stay there. They don't, they, when they do their job and then they take off. And, and so, I mean, and again, especially with these bridges that are not the modern bridge. The modern bridges don't have the structure problem in the middle of the channel. I saw some last night that changed my perspective a little bit. We've all seen it from behind the boat as it crashes in to what someone released a video from the other side of the bridge showing it coming at the bridge and that sucker is going parallel and then it makes a 90 degree right hand turn directly into the pile um i we talked about this earlier i the only thing i can think of is that is that uh, well two things they dropped the anchor at some point the anchor would not have been enough to stop the boat but it very likely or possibly could have determined the ship maybe was pulled in one direction and the other thing is the currents the, uh, a ship without controls and rudders is totally at the mercy of the currents well, as, other people are saying that that even with the power cut off you still have control of the steering again, so I don't know who's I telling know. the truth here. I don't I don't know I mean, e- either way, it never should have happened. It never should have happened. No. Not in this day and age. And no. by the way, um, I heard, in fact, I, I should have uh, mentioned Flounder. And I was, I'm, I'm frazzled this morning because I was this whole doctor thing in the year stuff. But um, I, I heard somebody describing, it's really, you know, it's really not out of line to talk about the possibility that someone could have done this on purpose. There could have been some kind of sabotage involved with this. And, and any kind of, a could have been a computer thing for the power or for the steering. or I mean, there could have been a lot of different things that could have affected what happened mm. in that chip channel. A disgruntled employee. Yeah. You never know. Yeah. And it, it certainly is not unreasonable to say, well, let's let, let's not automatically assume forever that it was an accident and never look into anything else. That's just right. stupid. That's not a conspiracy theory. It's being accurate. It's being an investigator. Freaking liberals. You know, I, I hate these people. Oh, you white supremacists think you're dead to dead to dead. Now, you know, God, now I'm going to whine. Uh, four o'clock, everybody in Flounder. Oh, we didn't know Flounder's funnies. Coming up next, I swear, I've got a lot of Flounder's funnies today. WFOM and W292EV Marietta, a Dickey Broadcasting Station. This hour is presented by Atlanta Safe House. 
slain officer is honored. I'm Lisa Brady, Fox News. Thousands of mourners expected at the wake for Jonathan Diller, the 31-year-old New York City police officer shot during a traffic stop. Former President Trump paying his respects to the family at the start of a wake in Diller's hometown on Long Island and speaking to reporters as he left. Stephanie was uh, just incredible. Their child, brand new, beautiful baby, sitting there innocent as can be, that doesn't know how... His life has been changed. The Tunnel to Towers Foundation ped- pledging to pay off the family's mortgage. Two suspects are charged in Diller's death, both with lengthy criminal records. A very different scene in New York City, where President Biden and former Presidents Obama and Clinton will attend a star-studded fundraiser. The Biden campaign says will raise a record $25 million. While outside, pro-Palestinian groups plan to protest the president's Mideast policies. A mass stabbing suspect appears in court in Illinois a day after four people were killed, seven others injured. 22-year-old Christian Soto arraigned in Winnebago County on 12 felony counts after prosecutors say he went on a killing spree Wednesday in multiple locations in and around Rockford that included knife and bat attacks, home invasions, and using his truck to run victims over. The youngest murder victim, a 15-year-old girl. The suspect is now in the hands of the court system, and we expect he will be held responsible to the fullest extent of the law. Rockford Mayor Tom McNamara, Soto telling police he began the deadly rampage after smoking what he thought was narcotic-laced marijuana. He's being held without bond. Fox's Jeff Manasso, a record day on Wall Street. The Dow up 47 points at the bell, but that's enough for a new closing high at 39,807. America is listening to Fox News. Federal authorities are now pressuring banks to spy on the transactions of conservatives. Hi, I'm Dr. Ron Paul, and this is yet another reason why you need a physical gold IRA from Birch Gold Group. To find out more, text the word PROTECT to 989898 to get your free info kit on gold IRAs. Secure your IRA or 401k right now. Text PROTECT to 989898 to request your free info kit. Message and data rates may apply. Paid for by Birch Gold Group. Progressive presents 10 things on a plumber's to-do list that are harder than getting a small business insurance quote. Waking up for 5 a.m. plumbing disasters, finding out why water is pouring from the ceiling while telling a customer to leave the room, replacing a pipe in a home from the 1800s, then dealing with invoices or your awkward apprentice or that really weird smell, and then there's breathing and eating and, of course, clogs. But the easiest thing on any small business owner's to-do list? Seeing if you could save on the business insurance that's right for you. Get a quote in as little as six minutes at ProgressiveCommercial.com. Progressive Casualty Insurance Company. Coverage provided and service by affiliated and third-party insurers. Rough, rough. All right, look out. Here we go. Ah, da, 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 da. How you doing? Throw out 403, Kimber, Pete, and Flounder. A little blind. Is that Blondie here? Is that what we're listening to? 1981. Oh, uh, no, this is Ozzy Osbourne. Oz- oh, I, I skipped ahead. <laughs> Way off. <laughs> I'm sorry. I have no idea what's going on in my head. I just, I'm, I'm you know, actually I feel good. I'm happy. I'm, uh, I'm really, I'm really whacked out about tomorrow's Good Friday. And it's also a special day. And it's kind of a, a one year thing in my uh, head that is, that it's going to be a really important thing tomorrow. And I'm our, our live appearance at, uh, Nucky's Hoagies doing the show and, uh, all in all and Good Friday too. It's going to, and I don't know why it struck me this morning about how really, uh, really touched me. And it's uh, so something's going on, which is kind of cool. Anyway, this is Ozzy Osbourne on this day, 1992. Over a, <laughs> over a hundred thousand dollars in damage uh, was uh, caused at the Irvine Meadows Amphitheater when Ozzy Osbourne invited the first two rows of the audience to come on stage. <laughs> Uh, a lot of other people took up the offer. The band had to f- to flee uh, for their own safety. <laughs> yeah, come on up here, you got to whoop. And they all did, apparently. And uh, so Ozzy, uh, Ozzy, silly Ozzy, 1992. And next time, next break, we will have Blondie entertaining you, as it promised by the Kimmer. I just try to tease the people, give them a little uh, future thing. Again, by the way, uh, we normally have uh, Neil Bortz chatting with us at 4 o'clock on Thursdays these days, but he's sick and uh, can't make it. So if we can't get him tomorrow, because we'll do the live shot at the remote, may not be possible to do it. But if not, we'll get him. Uh, we'll talk with him early next week, and as often as possible. I like doing it. Uh, birthday list includes Vince Vaughn, 54. It says here he's a swingers legend. Vince Vaughn says here he's amazing in Wedding Crashers, Old School, Dodgeball, Anchorman, Be Cool, Starsky and Hutch, and The Breakup. 
He's had a lot of uh, great roles. And he's a big he's, your enthusiasm. Yeah, he's yeah, been on that yeah. a lot. Uh, and he's like six six or something. He's a he's a big guy. He's a big tall guy. And uh, this day in history, in nineteen eighty two, on his way to an anti nuke rally, David Crosby was arrested for possession of quaaludes, drug paraphernalia, driving under the influence of cocaine, and carrying a concealed forty five caliber pistol. When the cop says, "What are you doing with that gun?" he said, "John Lennon." Yeah, that was his answer. Yeah, John Lennon. I uh, can't blame him. I might have begun, but it's all of our answers. <laughs> uh, Four oh six. I mean, seriously, that, that's why anybody carries a gun. John Lennon. I mean, you know, and Democrats. Basically, that's why I'm. You know, uh, Democrats, liberals. Uh, 406, Kimmer, Pete, and Flounder. How's it going? Uh, 404-741-1230. Oh, we had a request. Uh, Flounder, tell the little people uh, a special request for our call-in line here today. It's a, it's a new, it's, we could, you know, you can do calls. You can text us. We got, we got uh, YouTube. We got Facebook. Uh, we got all kinds of stuff. And uh, by request as well. Uh, yes, uh, Jim, the Greek Nearchos, as he <laughs> likes to be called, uh, wanted to know what you thought about Virginia County being... Uh, they're trying to change Easter Sunday. We talked about this yesterday, but they're trying to change Easter Sunday into Transgender Visibility Day. Yeah. And by the way, he actually likes being called, hey, I had the Greeks on the phone. I, mean, I, really, <laughs> I find it hard to believe. <laughs> I think you might have added that into yourself, Lander. I don't know if you really, hey, the Greeks are over there, you know. Well, it says it right yeah, here. I got it in writing. Yeah, we know Jim Diarcos is even around a long time uh, fan and sponsor and stuff. Uh, you got to love that guy. He's, a show, he's on the air all the time. He's a good guy. Yes, he helps do the All Four Seasons, all four seasons. Uh, podcast. Yeah, absolutely. Um, um, in fact, we mentioned this. The problem was they have, and uh, this is the same county that complained about parents going to school board meetings. Okay, they were the ones who said, "Oh, you damn uh, troublemakers!" And they they complained to the Justice Department, the FBI, and the Education Department, and had the FBI come out. Remember the memo saying we uh, the biggest problem is all you people at the school board, uh, you damn uh, conservatives and stuff. That's this is the same county. They have a appreciate the visibility of saluting trannies day, and it happened to fall this year on Easter. And yeah, so no they're purpose. now saying so they're now saying, well, the inclusion of the entire Easter and the trannies together just goes to show that God and everybody wanted to, and please come on. And they're not, you know, they're all now they're celebrating and they're complaining. If you're complaining that this is another notch against religion and especially Christianity, you know, that therefore you're somehow a anti alphabet queer hater or something you know i mean just kiss my ass how about that i mean it's easter it's easter that's one day Most i mean it's a whole season day. i mean it's, it, it, i mean it's you know easter weekend easter but it's one day it's an event that really has you know probably the perhaps the most um, consequences of any belief in Christianity that there is. I mean, if you, if I mean, it's the <laughs> belief. I mean, if you don't believe anything about that, then you're, you know, then you're really not in the you're whole. You're not a thing. Christian. You're not, yeah, you're not in the whole ball game. You, you, you might be kind of a fringe. You know, you, you know, you go to church once in a while. But you know, really, I'm really not yeah. into it. There, you know, that whole Virgin Mary thing. I'm really into, but you know, I mean, and so I mean, my God, this is the one thing, one yeah, you thing. Do, you do all the good works you want. <laughs> But if you don't believe that one thing, you're out I mean, the you're out of I the mean, club, seriously. buddy. Seriously. So yeah. Now why couldn't you know? I, I, okay. Why couldn't the alphabet people say we realize that this is an unusual situation because the day happy you know Easter changes the day changes and their date does not. So it would seem to me that they the the problem is if they were to take. The reasonable approach. If they were to say, you know what, we realize that this is going to be offensive to a whole bunch of people, not, you know, I mean, to, to a, the world. Uh, so we're going to celebrate ours on Monday. They could have said that. They could have said the day is still the day on our calendar because that's when we celebrate right. it. But we're going to have our celebration on Monday after Easter, uh, to, so we can show that uh, separately that it's not a, it's not part of Christianity. It's our own separate thing. I mean, why couldn't they do that? Because the alphabet people would burn down the town. That's why. Because they go roaming through the town. I'll bet you they would dox all those people, and they would they would never live it. They would never get to live it down if they changed the day. It's all it's intentional. It's a provocation and it doesn't have to be. You should not create tensions between groups. You should try and work together. Right. And one of those ways you work together is you don't do stuff on each other's days. 
I, I, again, if, if, if it were even if it were Mother's Day or even Veterans Day, which would be bad enough, but but almost any other day, and they could say, well, it just happens to fall on a day. It's really not our fault. You know, that's one thing. But there aren't that many floating holidays. I mean, Veterans Day is always the same day. Uh, you know, Mother's Day is is it Mother's Day always the same day? No, I, I, I don't I'm think it is. Mother, no, I don't, I don't think know. it is. Anyway, so there's, I mean, so there, there were exceptions can be made, but again, the one day. I mean, there's no bigger day. There's no, no bigger there's one not. thing. Okay, so I mean, please, they're just doing it on purpose. Oh, only one day makes perfectly sane people climb up Stone Mountain in the dark. Uh, yeah, I know, to watch the sunrise. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. Uh, he is risen. I mean, it's just, uh, you know, Easter music. Did you ever uh, do that? Because uh, my mom no, drug us did. up there one time. Not she to Stone Mountain. Walk. Oh, I've gone to a lot of Easter thi- or morning things, but not to Stone Mountain. I never went up to Stone Mountain. <laughs> 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 that's a hike right there. That's a, that's yep. a day right there. <laughs> <laughs> Those days are over. There <laughs> oh, you go. Uh, 411. And Bob, what the hell is going on with 50 Cent and uh, with P. Diddy? And now uh, 50 Cent's former baby mama, Daphne, has now been called P. Diddy's sex worker. More lawsuits from ex-employees, multiple sexual lawsuits. One from producer Lil Rod says Daphne Joy, who dated Fitty Cent uh, for a couple of years, 20 years ago, or rather 10 years ago, uh, as someone that P. Diddy paid regularly for sex. Uh, She gave birth to the 50 Cent son, who's now 11. They broke up. She said he was physically abusive, something the singer known as Fitty denied. And now the accusations in the new lawsuit from one of his former record producers said uh, Combs suggested P. Diddy to a year of groping and constant I'm going to have to, uh, I'm going to mispronounce a word here at the end, ladies, if you're driving with your kids from school. I'm going to mispronounce. Uh, he said he complained that uh, that P. Diddy was constantly groping, uh, constant unsolicited touching of his anus. <clears throat> uh, he ordered uh, recruiting prostitutes, have sex with them for the star's pleasure. He has hundreds of hours of video documenting P. Diddy's serious illegal activity. Underage girls, sex workers, guests at his house parties, and he saw the star drugging their drinks. He once himself woke up naked, dizzy, confused in bed with P. Diddy Combs and two sex workers and feared he had been raped. This is a guy. The staff were tasked with paying the sex workers in cash. Uh, one wo- uh, woman who was Daphne was paid a monthly fee to work as her sex worker and got payments by wire transfer. I mean, this goes on and on and on. Uh, he was he was shooting people and got away with it. He had a fixer who took care of my money. A cop showed up at his studios after he was shooting his guns off and stuff. He he he, he once bragged about murdering somebody and uh, shooting people and getting away with it. You know, for for a, a music genre that has a lot of homophobia in its past, yeah, there have been in the last year or two a lot of gay themed things going on with rap stars. <laughs> yeah, including the old uh, the uh, Hollywood with a punch in the face guy there, married to Will the, Smith. Will, Will yeah. Smith. And then this business with raping guys in bed with three. Oh yeah, ah, yeah. I mean, there's 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 audio on Twitter of P Diddy and another guy. Having doing what? things, having Good. sex. Can we? Uh, can, uh, uh, it's I don't. It's a we little. Can't play it. There's a lot Too of. Yeah, it's, I mean, actually, a recording of them actually There's having a recording, sex. Yeah, because apparently P. Diddy had a party, and a lot of the times he would spike the drinks. Yeah, that's what. That's what. And this one guy would never drink the drink. He just smoked or whatever, and he recorded a good thirty seconds of. Oh man. Let, let me you, uh, let me sprinkle in the allegedly right here. So. <laughs> <laughs> let him sue me. <laughs> He'll make us famous. <laughs> then maybe go back on that podcast, make some money this time. <laughs> eleven thousand dollars. Yeah, four years work and made eleven thousand uh, dollars. Four four. <laughs> Hey, we're trending upwards. I'm so proud. Mom and Dad, I've owned my own company. <laughs> 414, give her Pete and Flounder. <laughs> I'll look out. <laughs>
time for the Bortz Report, brought to you by Southern Exteriors, the Southeast's premier home exterior solution. Quality and precision you can rely on for over 20 years. Visit southernexteriors.co. Every once in a while, I like to throw out a commentary like this. Frankly, it makes some people mad. But look, we're all going to pay the tab for Joe Biden pardoning all these student loans. So I thought you might like to hear some of the nonsense that these deadbeat students come up with, especially in their doctoral dissertations. So here are a few excerpts from these brilliant graduate students who don't want to pay back student loans. Quoting now, this article relishes in distinctness. It revels in hidden spaces and in voices crying to be heard. It draws attention to what is not realized and in the realizing celebrates the moving on into the not yet known and the politics of movement. Using a Deleuzean logic of sense and sensing immersion in Bachelard's politics of space, the article plays with opacity, fragility, and imperceptibility as mistiness, flavor, perfume, tone, and mood populate its word plays and topics of concern. The article listens to and creates narratives that live in moments as events. The article actively desires to talk, listen, and hesitate in the excitement of dreams and un-slash-dis-slash-re-slash-covery by tentatively working with and in the post-human. The article toils in the indistinctness of those always opening and closing crevices, fissures, and inter... What's this word? Interstices that disappear in the slow-moving glacial heaves, flows, and overflows of discourse and materiality, unquote. Does that mean anything to you? What in the world are we getting for our money? Neil Bortz, Extra 106.3. Hey, homeowners, Tug here with some exciting news. Southern Exteriors is your one-stop solution for top-notch exterior services, from roofing to siding, windows, gutters, and more. No more waiting. They can start on your project immediately. And with an in-house warranty division, Southern Exteriors stands by their work for years to come. From leaky roofs to faded siding, trust Southern Exteriors for a quick and lasting transformation. Don't wait. Transform your home today. Call 877-9-SOUTHERN or visit southernexteriors.co now. Southern Exteriors, quality and precision you can rely on for over 20 years. Hey, it's Front Office Lowe's for Underdog Fantasy. The NBA season is still here, and there's no easier way to get in on all the action than with Underdog Fantasy and their Pick'em game. It's a fantasy game, but you can win real money. It's easy. Pick two to five players from at least two different teams. Select higher or lower on the player stats, and if your pick hits, you can win up to 100 times your money. It's legal in Georgia, and it's a ton of fun to play as you can watch the Atlanta Hawks. Stop playing playing against the pros night in and night out with their hundreds of different lineups. It's just you against the stat. It's that easy. Underdog Fantasy is even easier to get started. Go to their easy-to-use mobile app or to underdogfantasy.com. Sign up and use the promo code LOS, and Underdog will match your first deposit up to $100. Plus, they'll give you a mystery special pick to use on your first pick of entry. That's Underdog Fantasy. Promo code LOS, L-O-S, to get your first deposit of 10 or more matched plus your special pick. Must be 18 and present in state where Underdog Fantasy operates. Terms apply. Concerned with your play? Call 1-800-GAMBLER or visit ncpgambling.org. Jim Nearchus here with exciting news. The All Four Seasons Home Show returns to Atlanta Radio this Saturday morning at 9, bringing you advice and tips from some of Georgia's top business owners. Join Dan Watkins and myself when we will be helping you make smarter purchases, save money, and keep from getting ripped off. That's the All Four Seasons Home Show every Saturday morning at 9, right here on Extra 106.3. Hey there, it's Tara, owner and publisher of Our Town Monthly, where you'll find familiar faces, local voices, and community businesses like JRM Management. Thanks, Tara. I'm Missy Miller, event coordinator at JRM Management. We are your event specialist. We are excited to see you at the Georgia Food and Wine Festival, March 21st through the 24th. We'll have food, beverages, cooking demos, live music, shopping, and more. Or maybe you're looking for an event where you can bring the entire family. 
Join us at the Marietta Community Egg Hunt Friday, March 29th and the Northeast Cobb Community Egg Drop Saturday, March 30th. There will be multiple egg hunts by age and lots of kid-friendly activities. Also, look out for the Kennesaw Big Shanty Festival, the Smyrna Spring Donkle Festival, and of course, the North Georgia State Fair. There's always something fun happening in our community, and we want you to know about it. That's why we love our partnership with Our Town Monthly. You are so right, Missy. If JRM is there, the fun follows. Friends, check out all the exciting community events hosted by JRM Management. And remember, Our Town is your town at Our Town Monthly. By the way, we got a Flounders Funny coming up here, I promise. In fact, I'm going to make him do it here shortly because I've been very bad about getting those on the radio. But first, Skipper Pete and Flounder, how you doing? 420. And this is Blondie, who in 1981 began a two-week run at number one with Rapture, the group's fourth U.S. number one. First number one song in America to feature rap and its lyrics notable for... Now, wait a minute here. Let me say this again. It was the first number one song in the United States to feature rap and its lyrics notable for name-checking hip-hop pioneers Fab Five Freddy and Grandmaster Flash. Blondie was the first number one song featuring rap? Yeah, yeah. It's bad rap. It's really white people bad rap, but it's there. Is the this the, the song. song Rapture we're talking yes. about? Well, where's yes. the rap part? It's coming. Well, now we have to wait for the rap part. Well, we it's a five-minute song, oh, and God. I didn't... Oh, I got you. So, but here, I, mean, I, I can find it. Give me a minute, though. Okay. All right. Well, we'll come back. At, at your leisure. Here we go. I, here, let, let's see if it's right here. Hold no, on Okay. Here we, oh, here we go. No, no, it's later on. No, later okay. On. Sorry. All right. Well, if we get it later on, we'll, we'll play some more. It's Blondie in 81, the first rap song... Number one uh, hit with rap song music. I'll be yep. damned. And on this day in uh, birthday, uh, birthday list, birthday list, uh, Diane Weist, 76. And by the way, I can't believe that uh, the uh, the history guy who wrote this left out one that I thought would be the first one. Diane Weist, 76. She fought for Kevin Bacon's right to dance in Footloose. Also, Edward Scissorhands, The Birdcage, Practical Magic. But I remember her in uh, Woody Allen's Annie Hall, one of the... Yes, she's a good actress. Yeah, great actress. Okay, it may and be she coming was also up right here. Law and Order. Hold on too. a second. Hold on. Okay. This may be it right here. Hold on. Well, at some point, maybe. It's Blondie. Yeah, let's see if she's going to do it. Trying to find it. the rap part. We just want to listen to the rest of the song. Well, no, I'm sorry. I don't know. I mean, I'm kind of. I just kind listen of listen to the rap. I'm really interested in this because I can't believe that. Now, was there no rap? This was 1981. Was there no rap before this, or was this the first no. number one song with rap in it? And the other rap songs never made number one. Right. Okay. Well, there wasn't good rap, and there wasn't a lot of rap. I, I mean, remember '81's kind of early for rap music, isn't she it? She took it from the streets in New York. It was a street thing, and she took it off the streets yeah. and put it in her song. I'll be damned. I had no idea. Anyway, pretty cool. Thank you, Flounder. Good job there. And uh, you know, outstanding. Uh, Four twenty-three. Can repeat, Flounder. Oh, a couple things, by the way. Um, uh, ba bum bum. Uh, oh, <laughs> uh, uh, Flounder uh, <clears throat> sent Pete and me the audio of uh, P Diddy with another man or with a couple of other men doing various things and it's not playable on the radio uh blank that blank blanker you know just wow whoa wow real i mean how did he uh, I, I, this is unbelievable even if, if if a half of it is even half true it's i mean this is one of the big this may be one of the biggest showbiz scandals in history I mean, sir, what would be, if all the things that they're charging him with, and in the cases, by the way, he's also had to settle. I can't, I don't know the number of cases he's for rape and all kind of abuse he's settled already and still pending. This, I mean, what's a bigger Hollywood uh, sex perversion trafficking scandal than this? 
I mean, I, I, wow. I mean, this is uh, really uh, anyway, bizarre. Oh, by the way, speaking of bizarre, this is going to be a little uh, uh, interesting to talk about. But it made the news today, a woman named Abby Hensel, who actually is also Abby and Brittany Hensel. Abby and Brittany are conjoined twins. They rose to fame uh, many years ago with their own reality show. And it turns out now, the latest is that they were secretly married to a guy who is a former army nurse. Abby and her sister Brittany are one of the few sets of decephalous twins in history to live past infancy. They had a show on TLC, their major life events, going to high school, graduating, uh, job hunting. They have one body from the waist down. All their organs, including their intestines, their bladder, and reproductive organs are all one. They share everything from the waist down. The the second girl, if you will, Brittany, is sort of comes out of the chest and shoulder area of her sister. Brittany reiterated their desire to have families of their own some time ago, saying the world doesn't know to them, need to know what we're doing, but believe me, we're totally different people. They got married in 2021. They sported a sleeveless wedding dress with lace trim. The uh, guest and shared on social media showed the twins and the groom enjoying a dance during the big day. Again, this is these are conjoined twins. They have their own birth certificates, their own separate passports. They were raised Christian. They're both fifth grade math teachers at an elementary school in New Brighton, Minnesota, where they were born and raised. We understand we're not going to get one, we're going to get one salary because we're doing the job of one person. But one girl can be teaching while the other sister, still within her, is monitoring and answering questions. So the those twins have two teaching licenses. They say there are compromises they have to make uh, discussing uh, we take turns, work it out so each of us is happy because we're totally different people. They enjoy bowling, volleyball, cycling, softball. On their 16th birthday, they pass their driving test, a mind-boggling feat of teamwork with each twin using one arm to control the steering wheel. Their mother, a registered nurse, conceded it could have been a problem. What would hell have happened if they got pulled over for speeding? Would they each get a ticket or just add because it's her foot on the accelerator? When growing up, like many twins, they had vastly different personalities and tastes. Abby is the feisty, stubborn one. She likes orange juice for breakfast, period. And Brittany, the joker of the two, says, I only want milk. She says, believe me, we are totally different people. One time at a chi- as, a, a, as children at a swimming pool, they haven't really ever never left their community because otherwise it'd be hard to walk around. And now they're married. And I mean, you can imagine going to the grocery store. Anyway... Uh, one time at a child at a, a swimming pool asked his mother if she had seen the little girl with two heads. And so the mother says, we've talked with that about Abby and Brittany. And children ask the girls if they have two heads. We say, no, they don't. But each one has their own head. And we encourage them to develop their own personality to be as individual as they want or as they can. Uh, once, only once, and this is kind of a touching story. Only once have the twins even talked about trying to be separated. It was in childhood. Abigail became bored and restless when Brittany was ill with pneumonia and confined to bed. So, of course, they're both confined to bed. And so Abby started to suggest maybe we should think about being separated. And then Brittany started to cry. And Abby assured her, "I'm no, 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 we'll never be parted. And now they are married in their, uh, they're 34 years old. And I, uh, now, well, I mean, you have to, I mean, God bless them, you know, and the guy, uh, but uh, now think, okay, I, I can't help thinking when you're kissing them, are you, I mean, what if you're kissing one and the other doesn't feel like it? Or, I mean, do you have to go back and forth? Is it always a two and a half sum? I mean, is that even crude to think of? I mean, plus when he's making, they must have sex, they want babies. And so when, now is one into it and the other's not, or I'm, you know, Maybe one's trying to take a nap. I mean, oh my God, how do you work this out? And well, one can say one is ex- one is excited, one's not, or one wants to leave me alone. I mean, my God, we know the old saying. What is the old saying again? <laughs> Two heads are better Go-go, than one. Hey, hi oh, and that's the other thing. And it's not like they're the, it's not like their mouths are right close together. They're separated by a little oh, bit of a distance. Oh. So the guy would have to <laughs> two for the price of one. If you're doing any kissing or whatever, you know you're going to have to make a little travel hey, in time. You know? <laughs> if they had been prostitutes, they could have made oh a my. fortune. 
Now, again, please, ladies and gentlemen, I, I, I so honestly, in my heart, I'm not trying to make fun. I mean, I honestly, I, I salute them. I think, I, I thank God if they're happy, and I mean, I mean, God bless them, really, I'm, I, seriously. But I can't imagine. But I mean, you you know what's got to come out. They like they like different things. I mean, and if I mean they have different personality, they have their own brains. So you know, two. It's like having two sisters. Two sisters are never alike. And so, can you imagine? You know, if you have two sisters and you say to the two sisters at the same time, "Okay, I want to make love now," and one of them says, "I don't think so," and the other says, "Okay, I can't wait." How are you going to pull that off? When they were in school, they took a test. Did they just I know. take the one with the highest score? I, I don't know. What? I don't know what to tell you. I don't know what to say. I mean, again, it was this is their life. They're thirty-four or years old. The two scores. I don't. I, it's, I don't know what to say. But how the hell would you work that out? And I mean, good for. Th- I mean, really seriously, good for them. Hey, let me point out. Remember what the Wells Fargo guy told us when we started the corporation four yeah. years ago? No. Yeah, this he isn't going to work. That, <laughs> yeah, well, that was one thing. He said, please don't. <laughs> and he said that, he said that the 90% of all startups take five years to make a profit. Yeah. We did it in four. Yeah, we made $11,000, my friend. <laughs> Is that a profit? <laughs> well, we're calling it a profit. <laughs> we, we already split the dividends. Yeah, it's all gone. <laughs> uh, four. 30, Kimber, Pete, and Flounder on 1063. It's Thursday. Look out. <laughs>Breaking news to the conservative voices you know and trust. Your best new follow on social media is Extra 1063. We're at XTRA 1063 on Twitter, Facebook, TikTok, Threads, and LinkedIn, and pretty much any social media you scroll through every day. And we drop exclusive giveaways, new daily content, and the latest breaking news from Georgia and across this great nation. Interact with your favorite extra personalities. Get the latest on our live events events and so much more follow at extra 1063 across all your social media and keep up with atlanta's only conservative voice buying a new car is about way more than just a car you want to love it and everything that comes with it and at subaru of gwinnett we get that you want to love the website easy to browse easy to shop and an unrivaled selection so you can find the model that suits you like the 2024 subaru outback Crosstrek or Ascent, all offering impressive gas mileage, standard symmetrical all-wheel drive, and the tools to explore the things you love. You want to love the people and know that every time you stop by the dealership on Satellite Boulevard in Duluth, they'll be there for you, ready to help in any way possible. And you want to love the service. We'll check that box for you also, because during the spring sales event, there's a lot to love. So stop in during the Subaru A Lot to Love event, and you'll find just that, a lot to love. Start your shopping online at SubaruOfGwinnett.com and find the ride that best suits you, because love is what makes a Subaru a Subaru. Subaru of Gwinnett, Satellite Boulevard in Duluth, and online at SubaruOfGwinnett.com. True Prep on Cobb Parkway is your one-stop shop for emergency preparedness supplies, including freeze-dried food, water filtration, first aid, and more. They also have a large selection of firearms, including a huge selection of AR-15s, firearm accessories, and ammo at the lowest prices around. They are locally owned and operated. You can visit their store in Marietta on Cobb Parkway or online at trueprep.com. That's T-R-U prep.com. Prepare today for a worry-free tomorrow at True Prep. Central Heating and Air Conditioning wants you to know the start of the new season is the perfect time to ensure your home's comfort. Don't wait like most people do to have your HVAC system serviced. Your home should have maintenance twice a year. Maintenance helps keep your system running at peak efficiency and extends the life of your equipment. So turn to Atlanta's carrier experts for your system's maintenance. With Central, you get carrier products, carrier warranty, and carrier peace of mind. It's allergy season and Central Heating and Air can fix what ails your house and possibly your family with home ventilation and air quality products. Central has packages designed around health using variable speed, fresh air ventilation, air cleaners, air purifiers, dehumidifiers, and more. Central Heating and Air is one of the few second generation locally owned and operated HVAC companies in Atlanta. With Central, you're not just a number, you're a member of the family. It's been that way since 1947, and they've serviced over 100,000 customers right here in Atlanta. Call 770-GET-HEAT or go to centralheat.com. We're smart.
we care. We're Central Heating and Air. Introducing Sonder Health Plans, your trusted local partner for Medicare Advantage in Georgia. Only in Georgia. With Sonder, you'll get comprehensive coverage that's tailored to your needs. They offer $0 primary care visits, $0 premiums, and access to a wide network of Georgia health care providers. Visit SonderHealthPlans.com now to learn more about their valued-based care that won't break the bank. Or call 888-428-4440. Sonder Health Plans, your doctors, your neighbors. Neighbors, your friends. I right, got now. In full swing here, Cameron Pete and Flounder. 435 on your Thursday. Dude, that'd be a pretty nice day. Sonny? Hold on there. Uh, we got a uh, phone call. We got Chuck. We'll see what's up, Chuck, in a moment. Hold on. In the meantime. No, this is not my favorite Phil Collins stuff. I liked him better when he was... Well, this is Genesis. Yeah, I know, which is a good reason, because it's the reason we're playing it. (laughs) Flounder, our musical director, has pointed out that on this day in 1976, Genesis began their first North American tour since Peter Gabriel left the band, and uh, Phil Collins decided to uh, basically go out on his own as lead singer with Genesis, and their band appearance first time North American tour was in Buffalo, New York. Yeah, uh, Phil Collins, uh, very talented guy. He's the drummer still too, right? He was a, a drummer. All uh, how many? Uh, uh, not a lot of uh, some lead singers are drummers. Uh, what's his name that I like from the eighties? Uh, Don Henley. Don Henley. Yeah, he- yeah. and uh, Phil Collins. Anyway, uh, let's see. Oh, a couple things. Um, oh, the, uh, we were talking about uh, talking to uh, or about uh, answer a question from the Greek <laughs> Jim Niarchos, the Greek, as he calls himself. For the record, Greek women are hot. Greek yes. women are hot. I dated one. I've yeah. dated now. I, well, you know, I dated a couple, and every man, I'll California. tell you what, they are definitely hot. Uh, just for the record, I don't know why I said that. Just, their yayas put nuts in their Thanksgiving uh, dressing, which is not. No, no, that's, thing. yeah, they have some problems. And, and, and I don't like uh, a lot of Greek pastries, they're a little too dry. Oh, oh, oh those me. white, what, those little white powder cookies with the nuts? Those, in oh, them? Some, oh, my God. Well, some of those are good, but, but the, some oh, of them are yeah. a little too dry for the Kimmer uh, thing. But, but I love the, uh, you know, I love the, uh, the Greek ladies. And our birthday list includes Reba McIntyre, 69. Years old today. I thought she was older than that, to be honest with you. She's been around a long time. And on this day in history, 1995. What a shock, what a shock. Julia Roberts and Lyle Lovett announced they're they're just uh, uncoupling. Uh, They had 21 months of marriage. And I remember when they got married, and everybody said, whoa, 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 wait a minute. Lyle Lovett married Julia Roberts? <laughs> well, <laughs> okay, fine. I'm, I'm happy for him. Now for you look back and you go, yeah, well, why not? Well, why not? <laughs> uh, by the way, 437. Hey, hold on, Chuck. Our 4 o'clock hour brought to you by our good friends at Atlanta Safe House, home of the Kimmer Safes. You need a safe, you just don't know it. Uh, learn more at atlantasafehouse.com. You know, they have a showroom in Ackworth, too. Please tell them the Kimmer sent you, and they'll definitely uh, take care of uh, what you need. Chuck, is on the, uh, on the uh, phone, uh, Kimber Pete Flounder. What's up, Chuck? Hey, how you doing? Good, man. What's hey, happening? Uh, I'm the guy that... Good. I, I'm, I called it about a month ago. I'm the guy that listens to you on the day after on the, on the podcast. Yeah, I'll be absolutely. Up to Massachusetts yeah. in about a month. Yeah. Yes, sir. Oh, really? Wow. Hey. Be careful. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I know. I'm, I'm going to bring some sanity up there to those lefties. Wow. But anyways, um... <laughs> Yeah. Hey, uh, a couple of things. One, um, I was in the Navy. I'm, I'm not as old as you, but I'm an old guy. I was in the Navy from late 60s to late 70s. And um, and the Na- you should know this because, Marine, you're part of the Navy. You yeah, know? Yep. But, the men's uh, department, uh, yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> in your dreams. Yeah, uh, so the um, ship ahoy, Swabby. <laughs> yeah, if you're a surface craft, you're, you're a ship. Yeah. You were talking about this yesterday. Boats are submarines. I was on submarines. So, you, you know, you can't call a ship a boat or boat a ship, okay? Whoa, so wow. Uh, now, boat. wait a minute. A tugboat's Sorry. a boat. <laughs> Not in the Navy. <laughs> no, it's Civilian. a boat. Okay, well, I'll accept your explanation. I'll, I'll accept your, your definitions. Tug I, I boat. <laughs> it's in the water. Yeah, when oh, you got it, you, you just you, put it right there. I will be mean, you're not going to carry it around yeah, with you. <laughs> <laughs> in a bag. <laughs> and by the way, now, 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 I know. Yeah, go ahead. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah. Well, no, uh, go ahead. I just no. I just want you said submarine. I just I, I'm amazed. I, I it must be. 
Uh, I mean, yeah, you, I, I bet you can't stay down in the submarine too long without going nuts. I mean, it, it, what, what's life like really being in a submarine in those? I mean, it's got to be cramped quarters. It, I, I mean, do you feel the whole the whole time like you're, you know, just in Kooten and tombed or something? Well, first of all, you can't go on a submarine unless you are nuts. <laughs> I so, guess. <laughs> so being down there that long doesn't bother you. Um, yeah, the longest I was ever submerged from the time we dove to the time we surfaced again was 110 days. Oh, my God. But, uh, I can't imagine. I cannot imagine. 110. Whoa. It, 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 you get used to it. You, you, the weird stuff is when you come back and you you, you pop the top and, you, and you're and you near the shore, it stinks because of the shore stinks. But anyways, wow. I can talk submarines forever, but that's not what I'm here to do. I'm here to sing you a song. Oh boy! Now, well, I, I know, <laughs> I know you like your bebop music and your uh, kind of stuff like that. And and uh, again, s- several weeks ago, oh, 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 Pete there was giving you a hard time about a song. Yeah, and, and so, frequently, yes. And and you couldn't remember all the words. So I'm going to help you. Oh, good. Here okay? we are, Chuck, with the Kimmer not remember song word lyrics by Pete Davis, uh, insulting the Kimmer, and now by Chuck with the final version. Yes, sir. Please go ahead. <clears throat> Kimmer, Kimmer, Bobiner, Banana, Fanna, Fofimmer, Feed, Fi, Mo, Mimmer, Kimmer. Feed, Feed, Fofit, Banana, Fanna, Fofit, Feed, Fi, Mo, Me, Fee. Flounder, Flounder, Fofounder, Banana, Fanna, Fofounder, Feed, Fi, Mo, Mounder, Palounder. This is a Navy man. You spent too much time in that submarine, Buster. Yeah. <laughs> now we know what they do. Yeah, now we know what's up, Chuck. <laughs> we must work up the nerve to do that. So. Well done, my now friend. Like- well done. And by the way, what was, that? Who, who was the group who did it? It, was, it wasn't the Chaffels or the Chirelles or the Chiffons. Remember, who the hell did it? You remember? The name of the girl who did that no song? Idea. Oh, my God. I can't no, remember who I did that. I have no idea. I, I don't even remember how I know the, the word. name song or something. Yeah. <laughs> yes, yes. Hey, well done, Chuck, man. I appreciate it. But you can't do Chuck. You can't do Chuck, but that's okay. Uh, uh, yeah, anyway, yeah, there you go. Thank you very much, guys. <laughs> that's right. Charles. Uh, full, Charles. Uh, full, full, full. Uh, yeah, we can't go full with Chuck. No. <laughs> uh, pretty funny. I, I, I try, we'll try to Google the name of the, of the girl who did the song, the, 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 the uh, name song or something. Everybody ever got a name song? Fan of fan of Bombana? Oh my God. 60s were weird, man. 442. And, and I mentioned, we mentioned uh, the Greek, uh, Jim Niarchos, our friend, the Greek, um, as he refers to himself, by the way, was talking about the business with the. By the way, my headphones sound different. Did I, I, am I at a different, wrong level or something in here? Did nope. I do anything bad? It's probably because your ears got, they fixed your monitors or whatever. So. <laughs> I guess probably so. Anyway, um, uh, we talked uh, w- about the Greek's question about that Virginia County, which is now going to celebrate visible salute your tranny day on Easter Sunday. And here's another one about what's happening in our culture these days. A New Jersey Democrat a girl, Paula Gilligan, uh, posted this, a meme on social media. Easter eggs are aborted chicken babies that are painted in drag for small children to worship. As she posted her Easter references to drag and abortion. Immediate backlash from the Christians in her area from uh, Massachusetts, from New Jersey, the New Jersey Democrat, Glen Rock, New Jersey. Uh, they demanded she apologize and step down from her all Democrat, all female city council. Gee, how unusual. All chicks and all Democrats. The girl later apologized on social media and on the council's website, saying their meme was intended to express her views on abortion and tranny issues, but mentioned no uh, no mention of Easter. And she said, to those who feel it mocks your holiday traditions, that was not my intention. Wishing all who celebrate a peaceful, joyous holiday. You know, these people, Liar. honest to God, Liar. give me a break. And they're, you know, it's just, you know, it's another dig. It's just another slash. It's, you know, death by a thousand cuts. It's what they do. Well, and as we're finding out week by week, a good portion of the leaders of the so-called trans movement are pedophiles. Yeah, I know, it just happened the other day. You mentioned the case of, yeah. the, of, of again, again, we're not talking people in the movement. We're talking leadership. Leaders. Yeah. Uh, Australia, a soccer team for an uh, amateur Australian league has a team called the Flying Bats, and they were undefeated during the four-week tournament to claim the $1,000 prize. They had one of their members on this Australian amateur soccer team scored six goals by herself because it's a himself. 
They have five trannies. Five boys playing against girls on a mixed team. And some parents, when they got there and found out, this was a tournament, an amateur tournament. And the parents got there and said, wait a minute, those are boys. Uh, well, they identify as girls. Well, that, that, but they're boys. Well, they identify as girls. But, but they're boys. But they identify. I mean, this is, so the parents, some of the parents said, no, I'm, not, I'm t- taking my girl home. And then we didn't sign up for this. They were concerned they wouldn't let their daughters play. It's so disheartening. And people saying, look at, look at these people. They're not, they're not the same. They're putting our players at risk. The girls, and by the way, the girls were told not to complain or they'd have to forfeit the game. And they have repercussions. And by the way, the head of the Flying Bats Club uh, said, uh, defends the tournament's uh, victory. Uh, well, you know, we stand strongly for inclusion and pride ourselves on safe, respectful, fair play, promotion of a supportive community for LGBTQIA plus players and support. I mean, <laughs> oh, oh, it got worse. The, if the parents complain, they were warned, we will turn you into the government if you complain. This is Australia. Yeah, they're, yeah. they're gone. Uh, and, and New Zealand, both. I mean, uh, with the pandemic, uh, the, both of those, and of course, the former penal colony. Uh, but they put people in concentration camps yeah. who had a cough at work. By right. the time they got home, the van was waiting for them and took them off literally to a concentration yeah. camp because they were coughing at work. Remember, people were out walking outside and were were taken to their uh, boarding homes where they were isolated the people uh, for breaking the laws. And they, so. they had to escape. They yeah. had to escape right. them places. Yeah. Uh, four, <laughs> 446. <laughs> they wonder why we have our Second Amendment and we won't give up the guns. Yeah. Uh, Donald Trump made a couple of comments at the wake of the slain uh, police officer in New York. At the meantime, there's going to be protests when Putty Tat shows up with uh, the rapist, the racist, and President Joe murderer uh, later to raise money while Donald Trump salutes a dead policeman shot by a 21-time arrested scumbag. 446, Skipper Pete and Flounder on 1063. The Morning Extra is live weekday mornings from 6 to 10, and here's what you missed. We have to do everything we can to win elections. And if you don't push back, if you don't get involved, if you don't encourage your family and friends to get involved, the America your kids and grandkids will inherit is not the America that you grew up in. It is not the America you love. Our legislative branch isn't doing their job. All they're doing is going back and forth and working on impeachments. I don't care if it's establishment Republicans. I don't care if it's Democrats. You're not doing the job of the people. Can we fight to bring it back? I hope so. I hope that we start to vote out not only establishment Republicans, but all the obviously the Democrats, but the establishment Republicans as well, and start putting people in that actually are the people who will vote for the people and not their own pockets. The Morning Extra, 6 to 10 a.m. every weekday morning on Extra 106.3 FM and the Extra app. Hey there, it's Janelle King, host of the Janelle King Show, right here on Extra 106.3 FM, where we are unafraid and unapologetic. We explore the topics that matter the most. You can catch us on Saturdays at 4 p.m. and Encore episode on Sundays at 9 a.m. And catch up on past episodes by going to the podcast park right here at Extra 106.3 or wherever you get your podcasts every single Tuesday. Until then, stay unafraid, stay unapologetic, and never stop seeking the truth. What are your plans for your business this year? Hey, it's Tug. Do you want to expand and grow? Aren't you exhausted by going to lenders, building a relationship, and a week later, you got a new person to deal with? You have to start all over again? You don't have that with First Liberty Building and Loan. The Frost family has been helping businesses grow since the 90s, and they want to know you. Unlike big banks, they want to partner with you. The Frost family knows the patterns. They know the ebbs and flows. They know business. Get to know them at FirstLibertyGA.com. Building a building? Buying a building? Buying a franchise? Expanding? Reach out to them. Spend 10 minutes with them. See if you're a fit for them and if they're a fit for you. You do that at FirstLibertyGA.com. And by the way, if you're a young banker and want to work with a team that is faith-friendly and has a culture of excellence, First Liberty might be a good match. Reach out to them today. First Liberty Building and Loan. FirstLibertyGA.com. That's FirstLibertyGA.com. 
Join A Second Chance Bail Bond CEO Daniel Madelon and host Tug Coward for the weekly radio show Back Your Blue. They will highlight special initiatives, criminal justice programs, and community events aimed at keeping our communities safer. Tune in Saturdays at 10 a.m. to learn some good news about and from the law enforcement and justice communities. This week's guest is Mike Lutzenkirchen from the Lutze 43 Foundation. Tune in on Saturdays or catch up on all past episodes wherever you get your podcasts or at the podcastpark.com. No one plans on going to jail, but when it happens, it's important that you know who to call. Call A Second Chance Bail Bonds, where we believe everyone deserves a second chance. Whether your loved one's been arrested in Cherokee, Clayton, or any of the other metro Atlanta counties in between, A Second Chance Bail Bonds works fast to help expedite release within hours. A Second Chance. It's better to know us and not need us than need us and not know us. Call A Second Chance 24-7 at 770-627-3235 or online at atlbail.com. Hey, sandwich lovers. Today is your lucky day. There's a whole new way to roll for lunch or dinner delight with Nucky's Hoagies in the Roswell Corners Shopping Center. Now open. Nucky's Hoagies in Roswell is family owned and operated by the subsisters, Stacey and Shannon, whose love language is food and Nucky's Hoagies, their passion. When you bite into a Nucky's Hoagie, you'll taste the difference. The softest hoagie rolls ever, along with hunger-quenching sandwich combinations. Make Nucky's Hoagies in Roswell on Woodstock Road your new favorite spot for lunch or dinner. <laughs> Yikes. <laughs> no, it's all good. We're right here. That's <laughs> rock and roll, baby. The king. Look out. In 1975, Elvis Presley concert at the Hilton in Las Vegas. Barbara Streisand went backstage and offered Elvis the lead role in her upcoming film, A Star is Born. Elvis was interested, but on the advice of his manager, Colonel Parker, he demanded way too much money and top billing, so she picked Chris Christopherson for the role instead for A Star is Born. I can't imagine Elvis. Well, of course, you know, Kid Galahad, the boxer, he looked like he'd never lifted a weight in his life. <laughs> no hair on his chest, arms like spaghetti stride. <laughs> Jeez. Anyway. I'm not going to sit here and listen to <laughs> you, you badmouth no, the king Elvis. of rock and roll. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> he put a milk toast just, just to fancy. I, whoa, whoa. <laughs> he wasn't a milk toast in that uh, donut shop in Washington, D.C. when he pulled that gun on everybody. Well, the- <laughs> <laughs> His last uh, weekend. Yeah, apparently. Uh, uh, birthdays include Rodney Atkins, the country singer, 55 years old, proud owner of more trucker hats than anybody in the business, they say, <laughs> they say here. That's probably true if you know anything about Rodney and the country music. And on this day in history, in 1933, in Germany, oh, this sounds very familiar. In Germany, the per- uh, precursor to today's Democrats, the Nazis, banned Jews from uh, professions, businesses, and schools like today's Democrats who are banning, are trying to, you know, they're trying to make sure that Israel loses the war with Hamas, and they want to make, they're going to be in tonight when uh, when President Joe Murderer shows up with the rapist and the racist, Putty Tat and uh, Barack Hussein Putty Tat and, uh, and Bill Clinton. There's going to be thousands of pro-Palestinian Jew-hating protesters <laughs> to show once again how all the, and they're all Democrats, the, all those people are not voting for Donald Trump. They're all Democrats. And they hate the Jews and what you stand for. And you're going to see it tonight on the news when they show up once mm-hmm. again. Uh, and uh, speaking of President Killer and uh, Baby Murderer 453, to the phones, it's Porter with a Caribbean flounder. Porter, how's it going, man? What's up? Hey, uh, there was a movie that came out called Killer Joe with starring Matthew McConaughey, which has some interesting parallels to the co current poser in chief. Really? Like what? <laughs> well, <clears throat> Killer Joe is a uh, he has an affinity towards uh, a young girl oh. uh, say maybe close, just above prepubescent and uh, he's a paid killer. 
Oh, so, my. <laughs> uh, you might find it interesting. But <laughs> on a brighter note, uh, happy resurrection celebration this Sunday to all the Christians out there. Well, God bless you, uh, Porter. Thank you so much. And uh, best wishes, thank and thank you for calling. We appreciate that very much. 454. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, how about a phone? Can we do a phone? It's funny here. We got one uh, uh, linked up here. It's 454. It's still a little something kind of comedy bit. Break off from the camera here. I've been trying to lose weight. I'm taking it pretty seriously. I uh, just switched over to Sprite. <laughs> so yeah, that goes for a couple of weeks. I did try keto for a minute. You guys ever do keto? The diet where you just eat pork chops? You guys. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I don't know much, but I know a brick of cream cheese isn't a healthy alternative. <laughs> I did keto. I put on 35 pounds. <laughs> I was on it for four hours. <laughs> I got to do something, though. It's starting to get difficult for me to fly. Well, difficult for me and the poor son of a bitch sitting next to me. <laughs> it's getting difficult for us to fly. <laughs> And don't feel bad. Don't think fat people don't know. We see you looking at us when we get on the airplane. <laughs> yeah, we see your heads popping to the aisle like, where the f*** is he going? <laughs> Please don't be 29B. Come on, man. As I'm walking sideways through first class. <laughs> <laughs> Who's that flounder? That is uh, H. Foley. I don't know him. But obviously, he's a big Yeah, I just found guy. him the other day, so I've got uh, some of his stuff. I'll, I'll be, get uh, some more ahead. Excellent, excellent. <laughs> Brought to you by Nucky's Hoagies, which you guys will be at tomorrow from 2 to 6 p.m. Uh, that's right. Uh, the show, of course, is 3 to 6. The show is 3 to 6, yeah. but they yeah. want to treat you guys to a nice, uh, well, you we'll, and Pete, to a nice, we'll definitely, nice we'll lunch. Be, we'll, be, uh, we'll, be th we'll definitely be there, and it'll be a lot of fun. We'll have a good game. It's on, uh, we'll be right. eating at 2 o'clock. Yeah, we will in, not be uh, meeting yeah. and No, no, two yeah. Two yeah, yeah. The show is 3 to 6, uh, so pop in and have we'll fun. during the Feeding our faces. That's <laughs> right. Uh, on Woodstock Road in Roswell, Nucky's, K-N-U-C-K, Nucky's like Knuckle, Nucky's Hoagies, and uh, the uh, Stacy and the Subsisters and all. Of her. She's going to have all her mom's, mom's kinky friends little friends to come and see the camera. <laughs> all of her I, I randy little the girlfriends. <laughs> uh, Donald Trump was in New York to go to the wake of the slain police officer, and he said, such a sad, sad event, a horrible thing. It's happening all too often, and we're just not going to let it keep happening. We need law and order. Again, the police officer was shot during a so-called routine traffic stop. There's no such thing. In fact, I haven't said this in a long time, but I used to bring it up occasionally. Put your when you start getting pissed off if a cop pulls you over or whatever. Not, 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 all right, think about this: you're a police officer, especially at night, eleven o'clock at night, two o'clock in the morning. A car speeding or weaving around or doing something, looking suspicious, and he's breaking the law, and you you know changing lanes and those blinkers, and you look he's speeding, all that kind of stuff. So you got to pull him over. So you pull over a car with darkened windows in the middle of the night by yourself, and approach that vehicle in the dark. Just just that part. You get out of your squad car and you think, huh, okay, I'm looking very carefully to see if I see anything going on inside that car, which you can't see because the windows are all dark. And you're approaching that car from the side and you're trying, you know, you know, you have techniques and everything's, you know, but still you don't know what's going to happen. Got routine traffic. There's no such thing, man. This cop got murdered and he was wearing a bulletproof vest. The guy shot him just below that in the belly. It was it. The, the vehicle, oh my God. The vehicle was illegally parked at a bus stop. And that's why the police officer approached the car and gave his life for his community. He gave his life because a guy was parked illegally at a bus stop. And he's dead. And the guy who did it had been arrested 21 times. 34 years old. How can you be 34 years? How can you be 34 years old and be arrested 21 times, including nine felonies at the age of 34? So, so you'd have to be arrested, you know, at least once a year from the time you were, what, 13? I mean, my God. <laughs> oh, jeez. It's all set up for them, the criminals, and the hell with us. Illegally parked at a bus stop. And so the guy killed the... Why, he could have just said, oh, you got me. Uh, give me the ticket. I'm sorry. I'll move. 
And he probably, if he just had got officer, I'm so sorry, I was waiting for my friend, Can I, I'll just move and I'm so sorry. And I'll bet the cop would have said, yeah, get the hell out of here. I, I, I don't know that, but I, 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 I mean, my God, illegally parked at a freaking bus stop. This mm. can't be right. I mean, talk, talk about a way. I mean, I can't get over. I, I just, I, I didn't know that it was because of that. I thought it was a speeding and reckless, and he was causing troubles. Illegally parked at a bus stop. And Democrats that police officer, vote for that. Jesus, yeah, keep keep voting for want. Democrats. Twenty-one arrests, and he's walking free. Not anymore. Wow. All right, coming up at 5 o'clock, holy crap, it's sports. We've got more Flounders funnies and Pete's tweets and uh, your calls, too, with a killer Pete and Flounder. Almost 5 o'clock. And, and uh, uh, Shannon Burke down in Florida, man, uh, Country Radio, coming up at, right after our top of the story here. Right up. WFOM and W292EV Marietta on Dickey Broadcasting Station. This hour is presented by Lee Brandt Jewelry and Watches. This isn't just a campaign fundraiser. Elisa Brady, Fox News. President Biden's re-election campaign says what's happening tonight in New York City is expected to raise a record amount for a political event, $25 million, featuring two former Democratic presidents. Tonight there will be a discussion between Presidents Biden, Obama, and Clinton. It will be moderated by Stephen Colbert, and there will also be musical performances tonight from Queen Latifah and Lizzo, as well as other artists. Tickets range from $225 to five hundred thousand uh, dollars the five hundred thousand dollar ticket gets you entrance into a more private uh, reception fox is nate foy outside radio city music hall a picture with all three presidents taken by famed photographer annie leibovitz will cost one hundred thousand dollars pro-palestinian groups plan to protest gathering at other locations and marching toward the event former president trump spending time on new york's long island to pay respects at the wake for murdered nypd officer jonathan diller the 31 year old shot during a traffic stop. The two suspects in custody have been arrested many times before. We have to stop it. We have to get back to law and order. We have to do a lot of things differently because this is not working. This is happening too often. Diller is survived by his wife and one-year-old son. The Tunnel Towers Foundation pledging today to pay off their mortgage. FTX founder Sam Bankman-Fried learns his fate for the fraud that brought down his cryptocurrency exchange, sentenced to 25 years in prison. He is going to serve that sentence in a medium security prison in San Francisco so his parents can visit him. Uh, he's also required to pay over $11 billion in restitution. That, of course, is a formality, though, because he is in fact broke at this moment. Fox businesses Kelly O'Grady at federal court in New York City where Bankman Freed did speak apologizing without admitting guilt as he plans an appeal. He could have faced decades more in prison. America is listening to Fox News. Federal authorities are now pressuring banks to spy on the transactions of conservatives. Hi, I'm Dr. Ron Paul, and this is yet another reason why you need a physical gold IRA from Birch Gold Group. To find out more, text the word PROTECT to 989898 to get your free info kit on gold IRAs. Secure your IRA or 401k right now. Text PROTECT to 989898 to request your free info kit. Message and data rates may apply. Paid for by Birch Gold Group. Progressive presents 10 things on a plumber's to-do list that are harder than getting a small business insurance quote. Waking up for 5 a.m. plumbing disasters, finding out why water is pouring from the ceiling while telling a customer to leave the room, replacing a pipe in a home from the 1800s, then dealing with invoices or your awkward apprentice or that really weird smell, and then there's breathing and eating and, of course, clogs. But the easiest thing on any small business owner's to-do list? Seeing if you could save on the business insurance that's right for you. Get a quote in as little as six minutes at ProgressiveCommercial.com. Progressive Casualty Insurance Company. Coverage provided in service by affiliated and third-party insurers. Ruff, ruff. <laughs> Oh, look out. 
It's only me. It's only the Kimmer. How's it going? 503 with Pete Davison Flounder. And we're going to link up with Shannon Burke here in just a second. A lot of stuff in the news as we head down to Florida Man uh, Radio. And uh, hello, here, uh, hey, I everybody. think I uh, hey, Shannon Burke. How you hello, doing, sir? XL1063. <laughs> the Kimmer, Pete, uh, and Flounder. What's uh, happening, fellas? Well, we're having a beautiful afternoon up here. I'll bet you're having a beautiful, sunny, hot day down there, I'm guessing. It is. It's really nice right now. Uh, Great time uh, of year in Florida. I used to live. I lived in Palm Beach Gardens at the PGA National, man. And I'll tell you what, the, from from right about now until uh, well, this kind of getting to the end. From now until about the first of May, it's still really beautiful. <laughs> After that, it gets a little iffy oh, until yeah. around until mid September. <laughs> but it's again, that's a great time of year right now for a minute for sure. a few uh, more days. Right there too, you guys. <laughs> yeah. what, what is it there? Right? What are you? Uh, sp- uh, Sixty five or something. I think today, something like that. Seventy nine degrees right here. And- and sunny. Yeah. yeah. Sunny. Yeah. Well, sunny. Yes, sir. Sunny. What's hey, happening? Right. What's doing? going on, guys? Well, we got uh, Donald Trump's uh, lawyer was in court today trying to get the whole thing thrown out with a Georgia case with Fannie the Floozy and the free speech business saying his comments that he made, he wasn't trying to overturn an election. He was making political speech, and political speech is covered by the First Amendment. So, you know, and the judge said, well, you can appeal anything we do, but we're going to continue the case with hearings, and there's no trial date even set yet. So, uh, you know. Fannie stays on on board for right now? Yeah, think? apparently she got rid of her lover, uh, so they, they're keeping her, which is to me is amazing. She, The woman the woman should be losing her law license. There's no way yeah. she should be on this case. I still can't believe that, well, well, okay, uh, a, a, a couple of Congress people are trying to get her off the case totally, uh, but there is a state bar a, 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 a association of lawyers uh, some judicial council that is that oversees prosecutors and cases like this, and so far, I don't think anybody he's doing anything. How is it possible that just given her testimony, they caught her being a tramp and a liar? You know, obstructing justice? She deliberately was trying to convince the court that what she was doing was fine and there was nothing to it. I mean, it was unbelievable. All that testimony. They they got her like four different things. She should, not only should she be taken off the case, she should lose her license. We know the reason why. We should stop expecting this. We should stop expecting justice when it comes to a Democrat. I know. Uh, uh, listen, uh, is that not the truth? Yeah. <laughs> I predicted, I, mean, I said it was Fulton County. Nothing would happen to her. That's right. Even a Democrat strategist was on CNN saying, Fanny, uh, don't make yourself a character in this. Bring it down. Stay focused on the job. Shut up, for God's sakes. Keep your mouth closed. But it's too late. I mean, she can't stop. This, you know, this is what she is and what she does, and she's going to get away with it, and the whole thing is appalling. But <laughs> but that, that, that judge left the door open for Trump to appeal and, and his yeah. His co-defendants to appeal it. I, and my my take was that he didn't want to be the guy that uh, fired right. the he, black yeah. female. Does he work? He's a judge. He's up for re-election. Yeah, yeah he's he up for re-election. Awesome. Yeah, yeah, just kick, just to kick the can down the street a little yeah. bit. Fulton County, a Democrat, all mostly all black and all Democrat, and he's up for re-election. <laughs> so you know he he can't take a chance on offending the entire uh, prosecutor's office. Right. Unfortunately. Well, uh, what do you make of the? Uh, uh, with the bridge disaster, the uh, the you know booty judge coming out and uh, <laughs> yeah. not, to, not saying yeah. anything. Well, thank he God it was anything. a racist bridge. We finally got rid of that yeah. racist bridge. You know, we, like, <laughs> we have a we have a bet going here uh, or a prediction. Ez says that when they rebuild this bridge, it will no longer be the Francis uh, Key right. uh, uh, yeah. bridge. It'll be renamed something else that's more politically correct. Yeah. Francis, uh, he is allegedly what. Uh, so he yeah, had he was some, in a slave the stuff. slave trade or whatever. It's going to be the yeah. Bo Biden Memorial Bridge. The Bo Biden Memorial Bridge is the bet here. Well, he was one who was killed getting the Medal of Honor in Iraq, as you remember, yes, saving right. the uh, platoon of uh, nurses and nuns and children. <laughs> no, no, no. It, it'll be that cor- that corrupt Maryland congressman who died a couple years ago. What was that guy's name from Baltimore? He lost billions of dollars in funds that they never oh. saw in his district. Cummings was that his name? Oh, Elijah yeah, Cummings. Yeah. Elijah Cummings was yeah. That? Oh, yes, yeah. Elijah Cummings. Yes. Yeah, you know, that's a good, I hadn't, I honestly, I hadn't thought, I, 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 you know, that just goes to show the duplicity of these people. That's probably what's going to happen. I'll bet there's going to be a huge thing about the naming of the new bridge. Yep. 
And, oh, it, it, you know, I, I don't think, you know, I don't know what this, I'm no engineer, but uh, I don't think it's going to be a year. It's going to be a, a long time. It, but if, uh, yeah, I don't, meaning I don't well, think it's going to affect this election. Like, there's not going to, Biden's not going to build this bridge before November. No. Well, well, there, well, two things. First of all, now the governor of Maryland saying we want $60 billion or something to, to build it from the federal government to take care of this. Fr- frankly, the uh, the shipping companies responsible for the damage and the insurance or whatever. I mean, yeah. why, why, why are the taxpayers all of a sudden going to do this? And and by the way, if they were to, if the insurance company were to hire its own private contractors, they would be done a hell of a lot faster. And you know, it's going to be a good one. It's going to be the modern design bridge where they don't have those structures in the middle of the freaking channel. Right. So uh, yeah. Army Corps of Engineers, maybe, but I heard Lloyd's of London's uh, insured that bridge. Yeah. Well, they they should be paying for it. I mean, it was, right. it was a shipping company that screwed that made the, that cost it. Right. You know? Well. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. Well, well, hell, you live in Florida. In Florida, by the way, a couple things. Um, the, there were tugboats who helped guide the ship into the docking area before the accident happened, and then the tugboats left. And the t- reason the tugboats left is, well, I was just reading a thing from some top engineer guy in, in the shipping business saying the reason they left is because all the modern ships have modern technology to help them steer on their own through the channels, so the tugboats aren't really needed for that part of the thing, so they all tend to leave in these days as a normal procedure. The problem is, if those tugboats had stayed there, they could have guided him and stopped him from plowing into the freaking pillar. And, right. And, but they but they don't do it, uh, and, and frankly, I don't understand. But hell, you in Florida, uh, uh, boy, you know this too, Shannon. If there's a problem with the waterways in Florida, those bridges, bang, they are up and gone, and there are tugboats everywhere. I mean, they take care of those bridges and the ships going under those things every second of every day, twenty four hours a day. Right. And, uh, I mean, it's not the same as what you know. Florida learned a lesson the hard way uh, quite a while ago, and they do it uh, right. I think. Yeah, I, I, we're, we don't have bridges that expand that of uh, this expanse. Uh, that too many. Well, there's a couple of big ones, but um, you know, I thought the one that DeSantis rebuilt after the hurricane in a couple of weeks. Yeah, uh, was, you know, it was a bridge to an island, but it wasn't nearly the expanse. Yeah. But we're yet to see the economic impact, the supply chain impact of this thing is going oh, to be. It's going to be awesome, uh, and, and uh, it's going to be. I mean, that was a major thoroughfare for hazardous chemicals and fuel and diesel and yeah. uh, uh, that road itself was that was on the bridge. Not to mention the. the huge importance of that port right there where everyone's stuck in right now no one can get out it's just it's got to be a nightmare yeah and not only that what about your basic traffic pattern now those i mean deliveries and truck drivers and uh, commuters and i mean this is going to be a freaking nightmare for them and then there's the whole and let me ask you this in fact flounder just brought this up a little while ago we were talking about whether we were just coming i was coming to the conclusion and talking about this with pete it certainly seems reasonable to me right now to Throw the possibility that someone caused this. I think it's legitimate to ask at this stage what happened, why the steering, why the power outage, why did yeah. that boat seem to turn 90 degrees into the into the pier at the last moment? I mean, there are some questions about the video and the timing and the stuff. I mean, it, it seems reasonable to say it would be ir- be um, uh, disrespectful to say, well, we're automatically going to say it was an accident. That's all there is to it, and we'll find out why the accident happened. Right. Obviously, you have to investigate everything, or you're not an investigator. So it's not right to c- complain that if, because you're asking a question that you're some kind of freaking conspiracy theorist. Right. That's right. what's killing me on this thing. I, I agree that uh, it, it would be a brilliant way to affect our supply chain and our economy uh, for a certain period of time if it were to be a purposeful, deliberate attack. You know, yeah. it's. I mean, major... I, I doubt it. I doubt that someone did. That. I, I thought this too. was sabotage. But it. still, you can't say you can't say. Well, we can't automatically rule it out. I mean, and just because we raise the question given these what's happened these days i mean yep. of course you have to you know investigate everything i mean these these freaking liberals shan't honest to god i'm so sick and tired of being labeled and blasted and accused of things which are just being a normal human being i mean right. all, all of a sudden you know all of a sudden i'm some kind of a scumbag uh, racist you know right-wing psychopath or something because i'm asking questions that, that any normal person used to ask 20 years ago right and uh, here's a prime example uh, nbc hires ronald 
McDaniel in a two year deal, three hundred K a year to be a pre- contributor. She appears one time, yeah, one interview, and 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 everyone over there loses their Shameful. effing mind. Shameful, shameful, and, and they and they just won't work with her. They won't, and they forced executives who I think were on the path to hey, let's open back up and try to be at least appear a little bit more fair and put a conservative on our payroll as a contributor, uh, so we can get uh, you know differing opinions. And it, uh, Chuck Todd won't have it. Uh, 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 what's his name? Uh, uh, the, what, what, Matt Al won't have it, and and but they they forced NBC executives. What's his name? To, Matt Rachel Maddow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> they, they, they forced these executives to well, go to to turn around. It's, well, it's two two things I stand out. First of all, the executives. I think probably you're right. They were trying to do the right thing to say, well, we can't just be labeled as a you know. And so they were probably trying to do the right thing. And and plus, they did the right thing with her. It wasn't like she was some kind of right wing rabble rouser. You know. Uh, right. I mean, you know, from the far right, you know, the Proud Boys or something. She was pretty much, a, you know, not not terribly offensive to people except those who wanted her to be stronger. But it, so that was not that big a deal. But it shows that these executives didn't have any balls. They didn't have the balls to pull it off. And what's even worse, NBC was the original red and blue radio network which started national broadcasting. NBC and CBS, the you know, uh, 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 Edward R. Murrow's got to be rolling over in his grave about things like this. Right. And the NBC who started the old red and blue radio networks. I mean, this is not journalism. This is not broadcasting or communication. The First Amendment is dead. These people are not supporting the freedom of the press and to be able to express ideas and opinions. I can't believe it. How is it possible that those, you know, the inmates running the asylum, these 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 air, you know, airtime, you know, beautiful faces right. with the puffy hairdos are Determining what people get to see on the news. Because, right. Uh, because, oh my God! When they, I can't look, believe when, it. When, when when it finally has it, the last nail is in Legacy News's coffin, and it's it, it's rapidly <sighs> headed that way. The, these execs have no one to blame but themselves because they have allowed. Look, long gone are the times of crossfire and Hannity and Colmes and point counterpoint. That's when we started to lose it. And now they won't even allow a single voice, one single conservative voice, to join a left leaning Legacy Media because they don't want to even hear. They don't want to be around that yeah. person. They can't even stand to have them within their uh, their their sphere. That's a, it's ridiculous. <laughs> Jane, you ignorant slut. I was going to say that. How, do I, we sure missed that with Saturday Night Live and that's what brought it all to think. And again, we have to remember, these are all Democrats. These are people, and they call Donald Trump and you and me Nazis. Yeah. And these are the people who are, in, who are nothing but censors trying to make sure you do not hear every opinion and they're trying to yeah. keep the political opponent off the ballot as a one-party system. What else do you call these Democrats other than Marxists and Nazis? They, you know, listen, I, I they're to Jew they ha- and by the way, they're Jew haters, too. They're gonna, uh, yes, when, when Putty Tat shows up, I mean, my President Joe, a, a baby murderer, is going to show up tonight with the racist and the rapist, uh, Bill Clinton and Putty Tat. <laughs> Obama is going to show up, and there's going to be 50,000 Jew-hating, poor Palestinian protesters, and yep. they're all Democrats. They're yeah. all Democrats doing all this to America. Keep voting for them. It's, they have done a very good job of training uh, liberal voters to automatically associate you, if you're a GOP or you're, you're going to vote for Trump, which you know you have no choice now, uh, as you're an election denier, yeah. uh, a danger to democracy, racist homophobes, and there's no it's no black and white. I, about, I, no I'm tired of being bl- yeah, I'm tired of being accused and labeled and, and boxed in. I mean that, that's nonsense. I'm an American, damn it, and these all yep. those things are lies. It's not true, and 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 somehow they keep getting away with it, and I'm. I'm, I'm, I'm not taking it anymore. I'm fa- I hope there's a revolution. I hope there's a freaking revolt. I'm, you know, I'm not going to, you know, I'm not calling for violence. So you know, keep your, your freaking secret service. You scumbag FBI, the federal Gestapo investigation. <laughs> I'm probably marking this down right now. They have a whole contingent of FBI agents just listening to the camera trying to plant something in my trunk. They get me to federal charge or something. So they're probably writing this down right now. I bet you at 517 on March 28th. You know, but we, you, you, know, you keep trying, buddy. But I'm going to keep opening my mouth because you uh, people are ruining this country. And we all know it. And we have to stop it. We have to stop. We were just reminiscing about my visit from the uh, boys in the black suburbans that one morning. Oh, there. yeah. But, uh, <laughs> yeah. Never clenched up more leather in, in my butt cheeks than I did yeah. on that day. Yeah, just, well, uh, there's still a butt print in that chair. There, there you go. Uh, that, um, you can do what they want.
Oh, what else do I got to talk to you about? Uh, oh, the, could there be a stronger visual than today? You've got, like you said, Clinton, Obama, and Biden for a $25 million gala yeah, at, at Radio City. Yeah, yeah. yeah, with Lizzo performing there. And um, and in Long Island, you've got the former President Donald Trump right. uh, uh, showing up the wake of a of a uh, of a Jonathan Diller. The, uh, I mean, you can't, uh, yep. you couldn't have a... Shannon, the, I'm, I'm so glad you said that. In the last hour, Pete Davis and Flounder and I made the exact same thing. We said if you had to take two pictures to show the difference in what's going on in America right now, you show President Joe Baby Killer with the racist and the rapist and 50,000 Jew-hating, Palestinian-loving, Hamas-loving protesters compared on the same day when Donald Trump bows his head in prayer over the casket of a dead police officer who was murdered because of liberal political policies by Democrats. Yep. What? a comparison. And if you've given enough money for this Radio City Music Hall event, you can have your picture taken with all three of those. Yeah, $100,000. You get all three. Taken by Annie Leibovitz. Yeah. Unbelievable. Well, or, you know, and you're right. And then down on Long Island, former President Trump meeting with the family, uh, arranging the, what does they say? They paid off their, uh, the family's mortgage, agreed to pay off this, their, the, and, and, and make, having a solemn moment, meeting with the police officers who adore him there. Uh, I mean, you couldn't, you couldn't uh, show a better dichotomy of these, these men. Right there. Uh, you know, I. Uh, it's so obvious. I mean, it's, it, you couldn't be plainer. It, I mean, you, you hit yourself over the head with a hammer. <laughs> yeah, take right. a look. Now, the other three are, are about to watch Lizzo perform <laughs> at Radio City Musical. <laughs> uh, were you there? When, were you there when she was there at our station? When we were at the radio station? Were you there that time? I don't. I don't know. Uh, I'm, I'm not sure, sure whether you were there. Working out far in the hallway. Uh, Pete, you were there though, right? Uh, Flounder wasn't yeah, working yeah. with us then, but Pete and I, I watched her. Yeah, and and. Lizzo showed up at the radio station, and nobody had ever heard of her. This was, you know, five or six years ago, and nobody had ever heard of her. And we we thought, well, she's, you know, she's a big girl and she's singing, and I guess it's okay. And it was a, the, the some music rep brought her around to the radio station to sing for the staff. I mean, just, just there in the in the sales area. So it's okay, fine. And she sang for a few minutes, and we walked away, and that was a ball. All of a sudden, Lizzo is enormous. I mean, in many oh, ways. Oh my look. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what oh, good times, Kevin. Yeah, you got to Thank love you it. guys. Hey, Pete, Pete, have Flounder. a good one, my friend. Happy uh, Easter and uh, good Friday tomorrow, and happy Easter weekend. And hi to the missus. And I uh, hope you're doing great down here, man. Thank you guys. Thank you very right, much. Love Talk to you. Thanks, man. Talk to you later. Shannon Burke and the gang down at uh, Man Radio, Man Country Radio, Florida, Florida Man Radio down in Florida. By the way, uh, uh, okay, so I know this is. Uh, I'm not whining for the Marine mother. I'm not whining. I'm asking a question. Did you? What is this? Did you just? I'm getting a, a, a like a five thousand word lengthy commentator commentating thing from your from Flounder on my text. It's like uh, uh, the police officer thing is not as I'm funny. I am. I'm still doing Donald Trump courses at the week for the murder police officer killed by a guy with 21 arrests. Put that along with our president cop killer. It's like it's a running commentary of someone's dialogue. Uh, you just texted it to me. No, what it must have happened is my microphone must have been on, and it was recording what we were talking about. <laughs> so how that well, happened? I just got I a no text idea. from you. <laughs> well, I'm going to erase it because it goes on for like an hour or something. <laughs> Uh, modern technology. But again, for the Marine Mom, I love it and I'm happy about it. And I'm handling it all. Uh, thank you. Hey, ho, ho, look out. 521 or so. And uh, finally, finally, we've been, uh, you know, uh, avoiding the issue. But now it's baseball season officially, not for the Braves yet. But we bring you now the opportunity for Holy Crap It Sports with Pete Davis. It is opening day for almost everyone except the Braves, Phillies, Brewers, and Mets. Both of those games rained out today, so they will start tomorrow afternoon around 3.05. Meanwhile, Braves President of Baseball Operations Alex Anthopoulos was on the Cellini and Domino show today on 680 The Fan, and he made a great point about the batting lineup. Uh -huh. Back in 2021, when the Braves won the World Series, they could put four left-handed bats in the lineup to go with the five right-handed. That's pretty balanced. Yeah. Pretty damn good balance. Yeah. And now they can do it again with Olsen, Albies, Harris, and Duvall if they want four in the lineup at the same time. That's mm -hmm. pretty good. Excellent. I like that. Excellent. Uh, the first home run of 2024 goes to the Angels' Mike Trout. 
hit the well, first one good today. for him. I'm happy for. I'm glad he's still playing too. Is he healthy? Or is he? Is he got another year? He's in healthy league, right or? now, but the poor yeah. bastard is playing for the Angels, I and know. they're losing eight shame. to one in Baltimore right now. He's he's all they got now, basically. Yeah. What a shame for him. Personally. It is a shame. His career really? wasted with the team. Uh, that just won't win anything. Mm-hmm. Uh, as it should be, 90-year-old legend Bob Euchre will be on the mic when the Brewers have their home opener April 2nd in Milwaukee, yeah, as he has been mm-hmm. since 1971. Yeah, well, Euchre will take the rest of the season game by game, making sure his health comes first. <clears throat> and it is one of the joys of MLB At Bat, the app, to tune in anywhere I want to and listen to Bob Euchre call a game. Yeah. It is such a pleasure. Just a bit outside. How can they miss That's pitches right. that close? <laughs> <laughs> Bouncing off the backboard, you know. <laughs> uh, the Yankees placed ace Garrett Cole on the 60-day injured list, which means he won't be available oh, until at man. least late May or early June at the earliest. Oh. Uh, 35-year-old former Nationals ace Steven Strasburg retired last August. But the injury-riddled right-hander has yet to hold a retirement news conference with the team. Mm-hmm. And the Nats have now placed him on the 60-day IL. So, They're still mm-hmm, paying him? Something. Oh, through 2029. Oh, my God. Oh, wow. <laughs> so he may play he, again? He, he has wonder, wonder if he got since healthy. 2022. Well, I wonder if he got, I can't imagine he got healthy or something. Is he, they, you think there's a, a possibility? He can, well, I don't know. We'll see. Well, they got a World Series out of him. That's what yeah. they wanted. But yeah. this is ridiculous. Yeah. Still, still paying. Yeah. Uh, the Panda's career may finally be over. 37-year-old former <laughs> Braves pinch hitter Pablo Sandoval, yeah. released by the Giants back into the wild after signing a minor league deal. Batted 250 with two RBIs this spring. The two-time All-Star won three World Series in San Fran. He also hit 426 in 12 World Series games. Really? Wow. And I think, didn't he hit three home runs in game one against the Tigers in one of the World Series, too? You know, no, was I that don't him? remember. I remember he had a hell of a, a, a couple of games there over, under his belt. for, And then he showed up for one time in spring training and gained about 60 pounds or something. I thought, boy, that's not going to yeah. work. But he had a good comeback with the Braves off yeah, the bench there for a yes, while. Yeah, he did. Yeah. Looked good. Yeah. The Sweet 16 tips off tonight as March Madness continues. And the Hawks beat the Blazers 120-106 to last night in State Farm Arena. DeJounte Murray had 30 points. Mm. And here's a weird schedule thing. The Celtics are back here tonight for the second time this week. They hmm. looking for revenge after blowing a thirty point lead right, to the Hawks right. Monday night. That's right. Did they, they just hang around all week? Did they yeah. go to Charlotte? And well, play? Not, I think a lot of their do? side pieces are in the local, you know, airport hotels. Ah, so it's kind of a, you know, that's true. It's handy, you know, the, the, the hub of Atlanta. You know, <laughs> uh, the Falcons don't draft many Bulldogs, and even when they do, they don't keep them very long. Yeah. The Falcons have released offensive lineman Justin Schaefer after two seasons on the practice squad. The guard had yet to appear in an NFL regular season game. The Falcons picked the. Georgia native and former dog in the sixth round of the 2022 draft. So oh, Justin is out there floating around. Too bad. Uh, Jason Kelsey is talking with a few sports networks about joining one of them to talk. But the former ESPN personality and now radio and podcast host Dan Patrick says he should not sign with ESPN. Patrick says there's a reason they call it the car wash up in Bristol because they shuffle you from one show to another and it waters down your talent. I think that's probably a very legitimate point of what's going on with ESPN and the whole. Now look at Dan Arvlosky. I mean, he's on every show. I mean, they yeah. just move these guys around. A By the way, did uh, you hear there's talk about Travis Kelsey all of a sudden is being criticized for having a dad bod? Have you heard well, that? I think oh my God! Social media is going nuts. Most of us would, <laughs> would love to have bod. that dad bod. <laughs> but I mean, I mean it's doing all my, right. They got to be. They're critical of Kelsey. Oh, they're just okay. <laughs> Travis it's people, Kelsey. trolls on social media weighing <laughs> three hundred I mean, pounds. It's, it's amazing. I mean, I can't believe they're. Com- and, and of course, they're completely. You know, Taylor Swift, but she doesn't have a great body for a girl. I mean, it's, but, she looked but, pretty good in that bikini. Well, yeah, and I don't I mean, think she's she, good looking. No, she, she's still a girl and everything, obviously. But still, to complain about Travis Kelsey having a Dad bot. I thought it was pretty yep. stupid. People lived a bitch. Yeah. Former LSU quarterback and Heisman Trophy winner Jaden Daniels was asked how he feels about possibly replacing a legend in New England like Tom Brady, even though technically he'd be replacing Mac Jones, not exactly a legend. Yep. Jaden responded, I played in Death Valley after Joe Burrow. So I don't think he's worried about it. <laughs> <Good> <laughs> he played point. in the SEC, baby. Yeah, good point, yeah. 
Uh, the Chiefs have signed European rugby star Luis Reis Zamet, oh. giving the team another offensive threat. They're going to try Lewis or Louis or whatever at running back and wide receiver. Yeah. He could also be a return specialist under the new rules. The 23-year-old former rugby player, uh, a Welshman, run a 4.4 in the 40-yard dash. Yeah. So, and uh, those guys are tough, there. too, so I'll, I'll bet he'll make it. I'll bet they'll find a That's spot right. for him. Uh, Paige Spiranak is a female golfer more famous for her figure and comments on social media. She's quite entertaining. Yeah. And she's not happy with 55-year-old male golfer Chris DeMarco, once the runner-up of the Masters. Mm -hmm. Chris is unhappy with the purses on the Champions Tour, saying, let's play for a little real money out here. I mean, this is kind of a joke when we're getting $2 million at last week's Hogue Classic. To which Paige responded, Chris has made over $22 million over his career. That number is not counting sponsorship money. Hands up if you're tired of pro golfers complaining about money. Well, so, yeah. as the late, great Sam Kinison asked, is she right? <laughs> you know, you, you get raised, it's the Peter principle, you get raised up to a level, they coddle these pro golfers. If you can make the PGA Tour, believe me, that's a pretty sweet way to make a living. You have to worry, I mean, after all the stuff, but still, they take care of you like royalty. And if you've made 20 million plus, probably another 40 million in endorsements. Mm -hmm. Anyway, you know. Well. As a public service, the Onion has some more clues. You may have a sports gambling problem. Uh -oh. You're on your fifth knee replacement, but better to leave it broken so they can't break it again. <laughs> DraftKings has legal custody of your kids for collateral. <laughs> yeah. You convinced the gambling addiction hotline operator to put 20 bucks on the Knicks. <laughs> You dropped 10000 on a couple of 11-year-olds playing horse at the park. You should have known that the between-the-legs off the backboard dunk had no chance of going in. <laughs> you drive slowly by Lamar Jackson's house, just wanting the Ravens star quarterback to know that there's a lot more on the line than he realizes. <laughs> and finally, the number one sign you may be addicted to sports gambling. Yes. You bet the over on your extremely premature baby's lifespan. <laughs> it doesn't really matter if she's a fighter. It's not an appropriate time to bet. <laughs> it's, like, it's like walking into Alcoholics Anonymous and laying a or Gamblers Anonymous and laying a wager of whether it's going to work. <laughs> <laughs> and finally, on this day, March 28, 1907, the beginning of the baseball season, a joyous time for most everyone, but yeah. Not Red Sox manager Chick Stahl, uh -oh. who commits suicide while uh -huh. traveling with the team. Oh. He's replaced by Cy Young. Oh, oh God. <laughs> and a happy birthday today to Bart Connor, 66 years old. Bart Connor. <laughs> Bart Connor the, the, and his bride. Married to uh, the beautiful <laughs> Nadja Comaneci. Nadja Comaneci, who you told Bart Connor you wanted to have sex with. You walk, I did. I, right I said, if you corner. weren't here, I would be hitting on your wife. And, she, and, and he laughed. She did not look at me. No, she would know. That's all right, though. All right. Uh, 531, Kimber, Pete, and Flounder. Flounder's funny's coming up. And uh, stuff. We got stuff, news, and Pete's tweets, and uh, happiness all around, <laughs> for sure. Stop dreaming. Start driving. Get the gift that keeps on giving with the RBM of Atlanta Certified Pre-Owned Sales Event. Each of our certified pre-owned vehicles undergoes an exhaustive process of analysis, inspection, and reconditioning until it meets the uncompromising standards of RBM of Atlanta and Mercedes-Benz. For a limited time, get special financing from as low as 2.99% APR. In addition, you'll receive unlimited confidence with Mercedes-Benz's unlimited mileage warranty, delivering continued assurance for up to seven years. Contact RBM of Atlanta for details and see how to qualify. We'd love to welcome you to the RBM of Atlanta family. We're proud to be Atlanta's Mercedes-Benz connection since 1964. Not all offers apply to all vehicles and special financing available to qualified customers exclusively from Mercedes-Benz Financial Services through April 1st, 2024. Contact RBM of Atlanta for details on this and other exciting offers. Visit us at rbmofatlanta.com or call 770-390-0700 for details. Million Millions of guys suffer from erectile dysfunction. That's one in four men. And I can tell you, 
I'm one of them. If you or someone you know suffer from ED, Peroni's disease, or PE, here's 38-year emergency room doctor and founder of Total Body Therapy of Georgia, Dr. Eric Deal. Patients who enter my office are often frustrated, hopeless, depressed, and embarrassed. I understand the problem, and I'm going to help you fix it. There are lots of competitors that don't have the credentials that I have. When you go to other clinics, you're not going to see a board-certified physician with the experience that I have. When you come to our clinic, you're going to see me. There's just not one therapy that can solve these complex issues. I'll do a complete history and physical prior to any treatment that we use. Take it from me, Dr. Deal. When it's not hard, it's really hard. Call Dr. Deal for your free one-on-one evaluation and resolve your ED, peronies, or PE issues. Total Body Therapy of Georgia. 404-777-1911. 404-777-1911. Online at stopmyed.com. Lee Brand Jewelry and Watch Company, where quality and value make the difference. Locally owned and located in Sandy Springs, offering you the finest selection of unique diamonds, sapphires, rubies, and emerald jewelry, as well as other fine gemstones. Lee Brand Jewelry and Watches has been servicing Rolex watches for over 30 years, and their Rolex trained watchmaker will service your watch in their state of the art Rolex service center in their store. Lee Brand uses only genuine Rolex parts, and their estimates are free. Drop by Lee Brand in the Trader Joe's Shopping Center in Sandy Springs or visit LeeBrand.com. True Prep on Cobb Parkway is your one-stop shop for emergency preparedness supplies, including freeze-dried food, water filtration, first aid, and more. They also have a large selection of firearms, including a huge selection of AR-15s, firearm accessories, and ammo at the lowest prices around. They are locally owned and operated. You can visit their store in Marietta on Cobb Parkway or online at trueprep.com. That's T-R-U prep.com. Prepare today for a worry-free tomorrow at True Prep. Hey, it's front office lows for underdog fantasy. The NBA season is still here, and there's no easier way to get in on all the action than with underdog fantasy and their pick'em game. It's a fantasy game, but you can win real money. It's easy. Pick two to five players from at least two different teams. Select higher or lower on the player stats, and if your pick hits, you can win up to 100 times your money. It's legal in Georgia, and it's a ton of fun to play as you can watch the Atlanta Hawks. Stop playing against the pros night in and night out with their hundreds of different lineups. It's just you against the stat. It's that easy. Underdog Fantasy is even easier to get started. Go to their easy-to-use mobile app or to underdogfantasy.com. Sign up and use the promo code LOS, and Underdog will match your first deposit up to $100. Plus, they'll give you a mystery special pick to use on your first pick of entry. That's Underdog Fantasy. Promo code LOS, L-O-S, to get your first deposit of 10 or more matched plus your special pick. Must be 18 and present in state where Underdog Fantasy operates. Terms apply. Concerned with your play? Call 1-800-GAMBLER or visit ncpgambling.org. Work. Central Heating and Air Conditioning wants you to know the start of the new season is the perfect time to ensure your home's comfort. Don't wait like most people do to have your HVAC system serviced. Your home should have maintenance twice a year. Maintenance helps keep your system running at peak efficiency and extends the life of your equipment. So turn to Atlanta's carrier experts for your system's maintenance. With Central, you get carrier products, carrier warranty, and carrier peace of mind. It's allergy season and Central Heating and Air can fix what ails your house and possibly your family with home ventilation and air quality products. Central has packages designed around health using variable speed, fresh air ventilation, air cleaners, air purifiers, dehumidifiers, and more. Central Heating and Air is one of the few second generation locally owned and operated HVAC companies in Atlanta. With Central, you're not just a number, you're a member of the family. It's been that way since 1947, and they've serviced over 100,000 customers right here in Atlanta. Call 770-GET-HEAT or go to centralheat.com. We're smart, we care. We're Central Heating and there we go. Look out. 536, Kimmer, Pete, and Flounder. How you doing on your Thursday? Tomorrow, Good Friday. And we will be at Nucky's Hoagies in Roswell on Woodstock Road. 1133 Woodstock Road in Roswell tomorrow, 3 to 6. And when you're there seeing us 3 to 6, if you buy a hoagie, you'll give you, they'll give you a free cold hoagie just to say thanks for showing up. 3 to 6 tomorrow, we'll be doing our show there and have a little fun. We'll have a, try to have a kissing uh, section, a spanking booth. Uh, Pete Davis with a specialty there. And some various things. Anyway, this is uh, Led Zeppelin. Uh, they aren't singing much. They're playing. This, this is uh, an instrumental. Instrumental. 
instrumental version. Uh, do they do that on purpose? So well, it's an uh, instrumental guys, song. They have, like bands oh, they actually okay. have songs where they don't sing. Can I you believe you. it or well, not? Well, no, I, I knew that back in the day. I knew that uh, they were in fact the favorite. I didn't know that Led Zeppelin had this particular thing there. Uh, 1973, uh, the Led uh, the Ledsters uh, released their fifth album, Houses of the Holy. It was a dedication by the band to their fans who appeared at venues they dubbed Houses of the Holy. The cover is a collage of several photographs taken at Giant's Causeway in Ireland. The two kids who modeled for the cover were siblings of Audrey Powell of Hypnosis. I don't know what that means, but I'm sure it was very important to those of you who do know what it means. See, I'm trying to be uh, amenable to all those who know music. They're singing now, by the way. Uh, well, there you are. Well, I was wrong. Well, I no, 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 no. Sorry. <laughs> I guess some bands actually have uh, songs in their singing music, Flounder. <laughs> you mean lyrics? <laughs> yeah, lyrics. That's what I wanted to say. <laughs> How come you always got to one-up me? <laughs> oh, my God. It's 538 already. Uh, let's see. Our birthdays include uh, Cheryl Salt James. Uh, she is the salt of salt and pepper. She's 58, and I have no idea what that means. Uh, and also, on this day in history, Flounder, if you would, at exactly 10.15 in the morning, on this day in 1986, 10.15 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, more than 6,000 radio stations with all kinds of formats simultaneously played this. Don't do that cricket thing. I love this song. It's a pretty song. And in fact, I love the video too. And I'll tell the story like I always tell when I play this song. Now listen. Oh, it's not lit. A little later on. A little bit later on in the song, they have the girl who uh, was the uh, who sang "Girls Want to Have Fun." What was her name? Cindy Lauper. Cindy Lauper. Cindy Lauper was standing next to. Uh, God, it might have been Christine McVie. Or Kim Carnes. Or Kim, it was Kim Carnes. Uh, 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 whoever, Kim, whoever you said, the girl sang, uh, the girl on the boat, she just want to have fun. Betty Davis Betty, Eyes. Betty Davis Eyes, girl. Uh, no, no, the, the one that was sang, the girl, she just want to have fun. When she, when it was her turn to do her solo, she started out by going, whoa, 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 and that, 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 like that. And next to her, Kim Carnes looked like she wanted to gouge her eyes out. The video is really, a, that one section is really, really funny. When, uh, when she goes up on the high notes. Anyway, just for the, but I love the song. I play a little song here, Flounder, just for 10 seconds. Here we go. Here we go. Is that Michael Jackson? But if you just believe, we can fall. No, that's not. You that know. was it. That was it. That was she did that screaming and, and Kim Carnes went, ah! <laughs> but for you and me. Da, 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 da. I love the song. It's a great song. And I forgot what it was for. Was it uh, 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 Starvation or uh, what the hell was the cause? Ethiopia. Was it Ethiopia? It? Uh, it was for Africa. Uh, yeah, for, we, for World for Africa? A Peace for Africa? Uh, what the hell was it called? Something for Africa. Fun for Africa? I don't know. Anyway, it was a hell of a song, and that was 19... USA for Africa. USA for Africa. Thank you, Flounder. Eight in 1986. Fun. What's that? They're going to bring fun to Africa. That's why they did it. <laughs> why don't you move to, and where, move to where the food is? Oh, sorry. That's, yeah. that was, that was it's wrong. a sand. <laughs> There's nothing there. There's a funny Sam Kennison. You'll have to find that's that. Right. That's right. That's what we're doing. <laughs> we're doing find Sam Kennison right now. <laughs> <laughs> you think... <laughs> <laughs> and by the way, it's 541. Our 5 o'clock hour is sponsored by our good friends at Lee Brandt Jewelers, where luxury jewelry and watches are affordable. Drop by their store in Sandy Springs or visit LeeBrandt.com. And you'll be glad you did. 404-741-1230-741-1230. With the Kimmer, Pete, and Flounder. Yeah, we've covered pretty much all the big news. Oh, uh, tonight, uh, and, uh, and by the for the record, uh, Pete, Sweet 16 starts tonight. Any any uh, ten, uh, TV viewing interest, or do you have a pick, or do you have a team you're looking at, or want to, uh, any interest at all in the this year's uh, Sweet 16? 
Yeah, I, I am so enthralled with this that I'm going to play trivia tonight. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll watch it. I'll, I'll, I'll record and watch it when I get home. Yeah. Now, Flounder, you're not particularly a, an NCAA baseball or basketball guy, are you? Oh, I mean, it, I'll watch March Madness. Veronica did a yeah. bracket, so we're having fun. With oh, she, oh, well, she, oh, no, she, the, her office did a company bracket and stuff like oh, that. Well, so. so she's interested in the outcome. Now, is she a fan of, of, of basketball? Oh, no, she's just very, or? very competitive and just wants to win. She's a, I mean, she's a doll, but she's also a jock. I mean, she can hit a golf ball, and that girl's athletic and everything, and as well as being a dish. So that's, uh, I mean, that's uh, that's two very good uh, check marks, by the way. I still think I should, I'm going to ask her to marry you, for God's sake. <laughs> uh, that'd be unbelievable. I'm going to ask her to marry you. <laughs> I know, I know, I know. 543. Uh, I get the joke because tonight the farmer wants a wife is on TV, and I'm going to watch it. Oh, and I'm going to, I? <laughs> I'm going to miss her. I'm going to watch that show, and I'm going to hey. I'm going to pretend that I had homo. a I, that I. <laughs> I'm going to pretend. <laughs> you call it homo. I'm going to pretend. <laughs> I didn't say that. You did. I was sneezing. That I have a ranch, and that girls want to be with me, and I'm going to pretend that I'm the guy, and they're all the, oh 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 I want to move on your ranch with you and ride horses with you and all that, and, and uh, yeah, so I'm going to be there in spirit for the whole thing, and I don't know how many more episodes there are. I don't know if he picks the final one. I don't know where they stand. I don't remember. Uh, and uh, thank God the bachelor thing is over. That was a freaking joke. Anyway, uh, so I'm watching Farmer Wants a uh, Wife tonight. So that's I mean, will not be watching. <laughs> The NCAA. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. The Crypto King, if you just joined us, got Sam Bankman Free, got 25 years in prison. Even though it turns out that the customers that he screwed apparently are going to get their money back. And I'm not sure whether it's all from an insurance thing. I think he actually turned the stolen money back around to make money on it or something. I'm not sure. But he's going away for 25 years. Mm. Holy cow. Meanwhile, the Wall Street bankers that crashed the economy, yeah. the, nothing. Yeah, the ones who got my nest day. The one, yeah, the, yeah. The, the, the banksters. The, the, yeah. Yeah, the, uh, the Wall Street banksters. Gangster banksters. Nothing. Yeah, that's right. And they were, you know, remember, the, have you ever heard of tranches? T R A N C H, I believe, is how you spell tranche. A tranche is, a, is an investment um, scheme whereby, I think it's part of the gambling scheme where they will put a bunch of, of unholy alliances together for uh, their uh, financial agreements on mortgages and who can afford what and who can't. And then they gamble that it's going to fail. And when it fails, they win. And then they also win when they put it together. So, I mean, it's, you know, it's mortgage hustling. And, you know, I, I remember the famous case of a woman who, I think she worked at a nursing Nursery made $35,000 a year, and they gave her a mortgage for $600,000 to buy a home. And, of course, she couldn't, you know, she couldn't keep up. It was a balloon payment after two years. She lost the home. Banks took it over. Everybody makes their money, and she lost everything, and everybody else got rich. I mean, yeah, it happened yeah, to me. I, I had three properties. I had three properties, and they're, that was my nest egg for my kids. And, and real estate, and they, I was going to have uh, you know a, a lot of money for my kids to either use them, sell them, rent them, uh, or whatever they wanted for their kids and uh, forever and the family thing. And uh, you know, underwater, bang, boom, gone, and I'm back at work. <laughs> so I mean, you know, I, because of people who do this, who do stuff like that for a living. A listener has chimed in here, uh, Todd, and Todd is an internal optimist. I'll have to say. Oh, that. Go, all right, good, good. We like those. Todd says, "Tell Kimmer yeah. that there is a decent documentary on the song." The Africa song. You oh, know, really? All that. I did not know that. But here's where the optimism comes in. Oh. It's on Netflix. Oh, well, for God, well, well thanks a lot. I, get, I better get that watch. I, I need to get Somebody can send me the app application so I can fill out the application and get an app for my new watch. I guess I got to get one of those. And I, I, I watch football on Thursday nights on my new watch now, too, if I get to get that, you know. For my demographic that they care about so much. Dick Tracy had a watch he watched TV on in the I 60s. Know. I remember the. And by the way, whoever thought that was going to be real? A wristwatch that has to oh, please. <laughs> oh, God. 546. Uh, Kevin Pete and Flounder. We have actual stuff coming up, I think, probably. <laughs> Atlanta Radio Legends Collide on Extra 106.3. The legend Neil Bortz is live every week with Atlanta legend The Kimmer. Because when you get these two guys together, who knows where we'll end up? I am shocked. Shocked. 
Well, not that shocked. The Kimmer is live on your drive home every weekday afternoon from 3 to 6. And now Neil Bortz joins this show every week. And if you miss it, catch up anytime on the Extra 106.3 app. Hey, homeowners. Tug here with some exciting news. Southern Exteriors is your one-stop solution for top-notch exterior services, from roofing to siding, windows, gutters, and more. No more waiting. They can start on your project immediately. And with an in-house warranty division, Southern Exteriors stands by their work for years to come. From leaky roofs to faded siding, trust Southern Exteriors for a quick and lasting transformation. Don't wait. Transform your home today. Call 877-9-SOUTHERN or visit southernexteriors.co now. Southern Exteriors, quality and precision you can rely on for over 20 years. Is the tax deadline causing you anxiety? Searching for elusive 1099s and trying to uncover any exemptions? If so, you're not alone. Every year, Georgians find themselves looking backwards to file with the IRS, reporting tax history. But what if you were to flip the script? Not just report your taxes, but actually planning for them. We're Master Plan Retirement Consultants. We're local with offices in Marietta. We work with folks just like you to create a personalized, tax-efficient strategy designed to last a lifetime, a crucial piece to the holistic retirement plan. Do you have a retirement roadmap? You should. It's never too late. Visit MasterPlanRetire.com. Don't wait any longer. Visit MasterPlanRetire.com. Advisory services offered through Master Plan Retirement Consultants, Inc., a registered investment advisory in the state of Georgia. Insurance, tax, and commodity services offered through Frickson Associates, Inc., DBA Master Plan Retirement Consultants. The aforementioned are affiliated companies. Hey there, it's Tara, owner and publisher of Our Town Monthly, where you'll find familiar faces, local voices, and community businesses like JRM Management. Thanks, Tara. I'm Missy Miller, event coordinator at JRM Management. We are your event specialist. We are excited to see you at the Georgia Food and Wine Festival, March 21st through the 24th. We'll have food, beverages, cooking demos, live music, shopping, and more. Or maybe you're looking for an event where you can bring the entire family. Join us at the Marietta Community Egg Hunt, Friday, March 29th, and the Northeast Cobb Community Egg Drops, Saturday, March 30th. There will be multiple egg hunts by age and lots of kid-friendly activities. Also, look out for the Kennesaw Big Shanty Festival, the Smyrna Spring Donkle Festival, and of course, the North Georgia State Fair. There's always something fun happening in our community, and we want you to know about it. That's why we love our partnership with Our Town Monthly. You are so right, Missy. If JRM is there, the fun follows. Friends, check out all the exciting community events hosted by JRM Management. And remember, Our Town is your town at Our Town Monthly monthly. Lee Brandt Jewelry and Watch Company, where quality and value make the difference. Locally owned and located in Sandy Springs, offering you the finest selection of unique diamonds, sapphires, rubies, and emerald jewelry, as well as other fine gemstones. Lee Brandt Jewelry and Watches has been servicing Rolex watches for over 30 years, and their Rolex-trained watchmaker will service your watch in their state-of-the-art Rolex service center in their store. Lee Brandt uses only genuine Rolex parts and their estimates are free. Drop by Lee Brandt in the Trader Joe's Shopping Center in Sandy Springs or visit LeeBrandt.com. Is this the year you want to grow your business? Do you want to expand your team? Build a new office? Hey, it's Tug. And I want to tell you about First Liberty Building and Loan. Aren't you exhausted by going to lenders, building a relationship, and a week later you're dealing with a new person? You won't have to with First Liberty Building and Loan. The Frost family has been helping businesses grow since the 90s, and they can help you too. They know the patterns, they know the ebbs and flows, and they know business. Now the Frost family wants to know you. FirstLibertyGA.com. Buying a building, building a building, buying a franchise, or expanding. Reach out and spend 10 minutes with them. See if you're a fit for them and if they're a fit for you. FirstLibertyGA.com. By the way, if you're a young banker and you want to work with a team that's faith-friendly with a culture of excellence, First Liberty might be a good match. Reach out to First Liberty Building and Loan at FirstLibertyGA.com. That's FirstLibertyGA.com. Neil Bortz here. Maybe you've already taken the steps to improve your health, maybe save your life. You're using a CPAP for your sleep apnea. I've been using one for well over 20 years. So right now, I'm here to tell you about a source for CPAPs and CPAP supplies here in the Atlanta area. CPAPs, etc. They're in Alpharetta. They have whatever you need. Roddy and Sharon are your CPAP experts, and they'll ship nationwide. More information, CPAPs, ET. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That'll be the day, all right. And again, we mentioned uh, 
Yikes, mentioned a couple of days ago. Da da da. That that's uh, John Wayne used to say. That'll be the day, Pilgrim, when his, in his movies. And Buddy Holly thought that was uh, pretty interesting. And on this day, 1958, Buddy Holly kicked off the first night of a 43-day tour at Brooklyn Paramount Theater in Brooklyn, New York. Alan Freed's Big Beat Show. Alan Freed was probably America's first serious disc jockey. Featured Jerry Lee Lewis, Chuck Berry, Frankie Lyman, the Diamonds, Billy Ford, Danny and the Juniors, the Chantels, Larry Williams, Screamin' Jay Hawkins, Joanne Campbell, Don, Ed Townsend, uh, most of it. Anyway, and, uh, Buddy Holly kicked off his night on this day, 1958. Oh, and by the way, a very nice lady called in and asked Flounder for the address again of our appearance tomorrow. And this is going to be a lot of fun. We'll be there 3 to 6. We'll be on the air 3 to 6 tomorrow at Nucky's Hoagies. Nucky's is like knuckle, but it's Nucky's, K-N-U-C-K-I-E-S, in case you want to Google it or uh, put it on your ways or whatever. Nucky's Hoagies, and the address is 1133 Woodstock Road in Roswell. It's in Roswell. It's in a shopping area on Woodstock Road. It's a major uh, major road. You can find it quite easily. And it's 1133 Woodstock Road in Roswell. And we'll be there 3 to 6. And if you buy a hoagie 3 to 6 there tomorrow, uh, any hoagie, uh, you will get a second cold hoagie absolutely free. Just to say hi and thanks for coming by. Again, Pete Davis will have his spanking section. We'll have a kissing booth, uh, hopefully. Uh, and uh, I don't know. <laughs> I, I, will just I don't have think fun. we'll... No. And by the way, for, for the record, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep that magazine I, I put on Facebook Facebook and showed about what it was my last one of copy of me with a, when I was I had uh, cancer in the chemo and I gained about 50 pounds and got divorced at the same time uh, relatedly uh, and uh, so I, I bought a chopper from Earl Smalls had him custom make me a chopper with only one seat because that was kind of the whole thing with the thing there and so as uh, and so that uh, so I'm I'm going to have that I'm, I think I'll be I'm going to be cremated I'll, I'll have that in with the Marine Corps flag and American flag and that magazine <laughs> on my final day Jennifer's already got are a you, copy to keep so. are you also going to have your Kimber's grab bag of crap so if oh, someone oh, yeah. comes up and asks for something yes. you will reach into I, the bag well I will, I I don't know how I'm going to do it. I've got, I've got some uh, some some uh, military challenge coins to give out I've got some hats I've got a bunch of t-shirts and by the way, some of them have bad words on them. Uh, the T-shirt, so uh, <laughs> just I'm telling you. Uh, and I've got uh, I've got some pictures of me and Jack, the good boy. That I can I mean actual photographs that I could sign on the back if you wanted to, or whatever, give them to you, or whatever. Just you know, a couple little nothing, you know, nothing expensive or serious or anything else. Not worth making a trip out of your way for something. But if people show up and want a little something to, just to be there, then I got a little something for you. That, you know, just a few things. That's all. It'd some, be fun. Some. And it's on Woodstock Road in Roswell, Nucky's Hoagies. And let's see. By the way, on this day. 63, uh, Pete Davis, Sonny Werblin said, from now on, the New York Titans of the American Football League are the J-E-T-S, Jets, Jets, Jets. 1963. A uh, French pilot named Henri Fabre became the first pilot to take off in a seaplane from the water at Martinez, France, in 1910. And on this day, Jimmy Page in 2000 received an undisclosed settlement from the uh, suing Ministry magazine in England. The magazine claimed that Jimmy Page contributed to the death of Zeppelin drummer John Bonham by where... I did not know this story. I bet you guys did. The magazine claimed that Jimmy Page contributed to the death of Zeppelin drummer John Bonham by wearing a satanic robe and chanting spells while Bonham was choking on his own vomit. Jimmy Page won the lawsuit against the charge in the magazine, donated all the money to charity because Satan already pays him quite nicely. Oh, now, wait a minute. I didn't write that. That was the <laughs> Flounders guy right there. I had not heard that. I didn't hear that story. Jeez. I think he was by himself when he died, yeah. I thought. That's but the, mag I thought. Like the magazine Keith to Moon. print that? Holy crap. Yeah. Now, yeah, Keith Moon had was a whole different story, but I don't know much. I don't remember much about that. Anyway. Well, they also blamed uh, that satanic thing for yeah. Robert Plant's son dying. Oh, really? I didn't know that. Yeah. Wow. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. A guy named uh, Fred Jip in 1983 on this day in Phoenix was <laughs> Fred Jip. How do you spell that? <laughs> That's his name, J-I-P-P. -P. Uh, when huh? Phoenix was sentenced to 28 years in prison because he had married... 104 women in 27 states oh and, and 14 countries. So is that where I, 
<laughs> I got gypped yeah. comes from? I got chipped. <laughs> Not from gypsy, no, but from actually from, No, it's from gypsies. <laughs> it's uh, from gypsies. Roma, sorry. Roma, yeah. Roma. We don't call them gypsies <laughs> no, no, they're anymore. Not gypsies. They're Roma. Well, by, just the other day, somebody was saying that, like on Fox News, they were saying, and somebody's saying, well, I'm half gypsy and half so-and-so. And it was somebody, you know, a famous star was saying, well, I'm half Ooh. gypsy and half, uh, you know, They don't like Italian. that term yeah, I know, I know, I know. <laughs> Uh, by the oh, speaking of uh, where we're going with our world here, God, we're almost. Out. Oh, by the way, we have uh, uh, we were talking about Sam Kennison, flounder found it, and we'll uh, come up with that bit here in about a minute. Uh, but guess what? Tuition now at New England universities like Boston University, Tufts, Wellesley, and Yale, among the top private colleges in the country, are now more than ninety thousand dollars a year. That's yep. Boston University, 65,000 tuition, 20,000 housing, uh, more than 90,000 total, 42% jump from a few years ago. Brandeis, Harvard charged 80,000, now it's going to 89,000. And now they say, well, but but most of them get scholarships. And again, this is federal money and stuff. I mean, the whole thing is a scam. The feds are going to pay them no matter what. That's right. The whole thing is a scam, man. I mean, th- think twice about your, your college education for your kids. I mean, we, we got to come up with alternatives that make it better for everybody, including businesses hiring people. Anyway, God, almost out of time. Flounder Little of Flounder's Funny as we wrap it up here for the day. Well, I'm not trying to make fun of World Hunger. Matter of fact, I think I have the answer because I spent a lot of time working it out. And uh, <laughs> Sam if you want to stop World Hunger, stop sending them food. <laughs> Don't send these people another bite. <laughs> you want to send them something? You want to help? Send them U-Hauls. Send them U-Hauls, some luggage, and send them a guy out there that goes, Hey, you know, we've been driving out here every day with your food for like the last, uh, I don't know, 30, 40 years. And we were driving out here a day across the desert, and it occurred to us there wouldn't be world hunger if you people would live where the food is! I gotta go. You're killing me. Pete Flounder tomorrow live at Nucky's Hoagies. Uh, Look out, Herp. Gotta go. You're killing me for sure. See ya. The Kimmer Show is back every afternoon from 3 to 6 p.m. Only on WFOM Marietta, a Dickey Broadcasting Station. Extra 106.3 FM.